Hello, hello. Let's get straight into it. Pick up where we left off. Might actually get some tactics in today, Terranium. Hopefully, it's been a while since we actually played some tactics. Oh, I just realized the hours are wrong as well. So let's get the wheel spinning. Let's fix that up. 7.5. Nice. And oh, oh, it's so close to tactics. Fallout 4. Well, it'll be coming. It'll be coming. All right. Into Fallout 4 then. It was really close on that one, actually. Uh, oh, more Nuka World, isn't it? Oh, boy. Don't know how long is this going to take. Rigged. <laughs> I swear it's not. But it does feel like it is sometimes. But it should be Tactics next. That makes it sound more rigged. If it is Tactics next, I swear I didn't set it up like that. All right, Fallout 4. Let's go. Ah, I didn't plug my camera in. God, I'm so unprepared today. My bad, guys. Take one week off and it all falls apart. I've lost my mouse now as well. How does plugging in a webcam make your mouse disappear? Technical difficulties at the wazoo. Okay, there it is. All right, start the timer. Cool. Get the camera set up. There we are. Move that around. Oops. Amateur owl over here. Oh god, I'm still not perfect. It's the most eye contact I've ever, eye contact I think I've ever given the uh, camera. Right. Okay, there you go. That's good enough. Let's say <laughs> into the game. Load. Here we are. Exit save. Let's go. I've been super sick and been unable to work on the new video, but I somehow managed to turn a single joke into its entire own video <laughs> because of how absurd it was. I'm serious script finished on a single inspired day of work on a side video. Nice. Yeah, that happens. Like a lot of my, like that's how the, the pissed retrospective happened. Was, um, I, I can't remember what video it was. Oh, that's very loud. Sorry. Let me affect the, uh, let me turn that down. So as I was saying, the missed, um, the pissed retrospective happened because I was in one of my previous videos. I referenced mist and I can't remember why, but why is this guy electric? But when I was researching mist for that video, I learned about this, uh, about the parody game. And that essentially inspired that April Fool's video. Oh, my vast is terrible. I must not have good perception. Nice. Only Fallout. Uh, why? Uh, it's just for so for these streams. It's just part of this uh, this challenge I'm doing. Is that I see if I can finish every Fallout game under a certain amount of time. So I have. Uh, I just saw I've got 67.5 hours left, and I'm doing it in a, in an hour and a half like chunks, and it's chosen by a random wheel. It's a very convoluted challenge, really, but um, yeah, just covering Fallout at the moment. But my next video is on, well, it's a Lone in the Dark review, and then a, a Diablo retrospective is coming. So, variety of games coming up. Then some Fallout. We'll be doing some more Elder Scrolls stuff eventually, of course. So, what is actually our quest here? Uh, we're clearing out the Magical Kingdom. So, I just need to remove this radioactive mist. Okay. Lot, have you seen the Alone in the Dark movie? Oh, the, the UV ball one? Yeah. Oh, you, UV? UV ball? UV? Yeah, I can't even know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, it's uh, terrible. Absolutely horrendous. But that's, you know, that's what he's known for, so. All right. Okay, must, I'm on the wrong side of this. Very faint wall, so I think if we go south, 
and around. Should be able to get to it. Oh, God. That was lucky. Okay, can't go in for that entrance. This is probably going to kill me, isn't it? Yeah, let's, let's not go near that. I turn it off? Well, it shouldn't even be running as it is because the power is out, apparently. That's weird. Oh, God. I'm sad that my shotgun ran out. Okay, that's a radium rifle. That's useless against these guys. Stick with the laser rifle. Alright, so it seems like the lines on this map do not correlate whatsoever with the actual world space. <laughs> but we're heading in the right direction, I think. Forgot how much of an absolute dungeon crawl this DLC is. I have considered that the fastest way to play Nuka World might just be to kill all the radius, which is the, um, I guess the good ending. It doesn't, <laughs> not that there's much right in, in that. That might be what we end up doing. Oh. Seems like a cop out to do that, but that is the point of this challenge, I guess. Oh, is that a trap? Oh, I've never come across a missile. God damn it. <laughs> I need to start looking at the floor more. <laughs> Duct tape, that's actually pretty good. And yeah, it was a horrible crime of a movie. Yeah, to absolutely just terrible. I watched it for my Alone in the Dark retrospective. I did um, a year or two back. Horrendous. It wasn't even worth it because I thought my, maybe there would have been something in the movie that referenced the games, but it literally just doesn't at all. So actually just a waste of my time. It really feels like he essentially bought the rights to the name. And that was it. Where are they all coming from? It's such a mind bend coming from playing like, um,. And all the fallout to this. Just the amount of enemies you have to face. Whereas when we play, like, later we'll probably play some Fallout 2. And there's very few encounter, like, actual combat encounters you have to do. <laughs> but then again, you've got games like Tactics, which is entirely combat encounters for the most part. Or trying to avoid the combat encounters. Oh my god, F off. That's enhanced com uh, combat armor. I thought it was going to be power armor. There's literally nothing to do with the games, yeah. <laughs> no connection at all. I have no idea how we're going to get into those, into the fun house. I seem to have missed that door somehow. Near the theater. And is it the tunnels are over this bridge, maybe? Or maybe probably below me actually that would make sense for a tunnel nuka cherry that's the entrance to this area okay so the tunnels must be below us let's finish uh, clear out the theater and then we'll do the tunnels i will say that the, the one good movie he made was postal it captures the pure insanity of postal 2 pretty well i need to check that one out i can't say i've watched 
many Uwe Boll video, uh, movies. He didn't make the Resident Evil ones, did he? I think Resident Evil was made by a, a slightly more competent team. I remember them being, um, I mean, they were still terrible, but somewhat watchable when I was a lot younger. But I can't remember which one, because I think the Resident Evil films are one of those ones that has got like 20 different entries in it. Alright, so what is my actual mission? Is it just clearing them out? Search. Strange voices taunted over there. I should look for the source of the voice. Okay, so we're just looking for the that raider that keeps on taunting us. Oh, uh, is it one of those situations, though, where it's either going to be... If you know where he is, you can find him early. Or is it going to be one of those ones where he always spawns in the last one you search? That would be annoying. It's definitely going to be a mine. Oh. Okay, get to the stage, he says. Through here. There's definitely going to be a combat encounter in here. Probably a bunch of ghouls coming down there. So knowing that then, can I set up got some frag mines? Will they come behind me? Maybe. Set up one there. One there. I cured a turret somewhere. I think there's a turret up here. the guy we need to find, Oswald the Outrageous. Oh. Well, whoever it is, it's dead. I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this oh, he's a ghoul. I can tell you're different than the usual invaders, so I'll not bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use. Seems like a clear reference to dead money, to be honest. When the bombs fell, oh, sup. Uh, testing. <laughs> can I, can I just kind of skip this whole quest? <laughs> I'm not here for your theatrics, bro. Let's let's get this over and done with. <laughs> Did he just disappear? That is bullshit. Okay, cannot. So, like, what's the law reason for him getting one health and not even in a puff of smoke, just actually despawning? Ah. Uh. So I think it's what I said earlier then. It is going to be a case of we've got to search all three of them and he'll be finally killed in the third one. Brilliant. Well, let's pick these back up. Uh, there's no reason to search this place. Let's get moving. Pick up my mine. I saw, uh, no, he didn't get Resident Evil or Silent Hill. Both of them were awful movies. Yeah, I don't remember them being great, but I remember, uh, I have a memory of watching one of the Resident Evil ones. And it being, uh, I didn't turn it off. <laughs> That's as much as I'll give it. I didn't instantly turn it off. I remember watching the whole thing, but I don't know which entry it was. Generally, horror films are just... Oops, don't need those. Very hit and miss. A lot of horror films are just very, like, um... Low budget. Generally pretty terrible. Right, is that the road I've got to take to get to the tunnels? Oh, goddamn mines. Oh. Oh, okay. Shit. Uh, can I jump on one of those? What's up, bro? Stop dodging. Oh, he's gonna get hit. Ah, I just dodged it. I want to get on the car. Hang on. Whoa. Oh. Did it just not work? Or I think it just counts as hit as hitting me. That's a shame. I'm gonna get on it. Okay, we've got time. Oh, we do not have time. 
Run, 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 run. Oof, I was close. Hey, 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 you're kidding me, man. What's this thing doing here? No. <laughs> oh, right, there's <laughs> another entrance right here. The only horror movie I ever thought was a generally good movie was Cabin in the Woods. Unless Godzilla counts as a horror movie. Um, some Godzillas, I would say, are horror movies. Like, the most recent one uh, was Shin Godzilla and... Um, I forgot the name of the recent one. Godzilla... I'd say Godzilla X, but I don't think that's right. But it's, um, not all the Japanese ones, but the most recent Japanese ones definitely were. Seriously? Is this glass? Yes, Must be. Ugh. Of course. No, well, that's the tunnel's done at least. And I, I guess a lot of the Godzilla films, ignoring the super campy ones from like the 80s, they're generally like. I guess cross genre, the like, kind of action films mixed with horror films. Not all of them, of course. Like the recent MonsterVerse ones, are mostly. Unless you, the the first one would be an example of what I mean. Like it's a horror action film or a horror adventure film, because it's got some horror aspects. Like like not showing Godzilla for like half the film, <laughs> trying to build him up to be scary and like the destruction he causes. But then the direct sequels to that are clearly just action films. Okay, so we need to find the fun. Is it fun house? Fun castle? Fun house. So that's too. Wouldn't be that. Or is it this? No. That's not a house. That's not in the right direction. Can I close these? No. I need to get over there somehow. Okay, we're stuck on the theater side, so I think we have to go back to the front. I was speaking to uh, Bayer Fox yesterday about some like Fallout perks, Fallout 4 perks, and I said how I don't think Vans, uh, the, Fallout perk, uh, the Fallout 4 perk Vans, like V-A-N-S, is worth it because I don't generally get lost, but clearly maybe it would be worth taking a point do i have a perk point i don't maybe it would be worth getting a perk point in vans just to get, just so i can get some better directions okay i need to get on the other side of this hedge uh, get out the way that's my laser rifle that's what i was using I want to go that way. Eat. Okay. Oops. Hello. That was close. Ah, that one didn't hit me. Two thousand millennium era were glor <laughs> gloriously bullshit insane. Yeah, the, the Godzilla's gone through its moments. There was is it the two thousand and four one where he fights uh Zilla, like the the um I forgot the name the Emmerich got the name of the, the name of the director, but the Emmerich two thousands uh Godzilla, the awful one in New York. I think there's a two thousand and four film where Godzilla fights they named him Zilla. And he literally, to, I think it's a Leakin Park song, like, yeets him over his shoulder into the Sydney Opera House building, and he blows up. Some really crazy films going out in that era. <laughs> but that was a time when, like, it's not, it's not like just a, like a Japan versus American thing. Like, clearly Japan has also treated it as campy action films at points. 
They go back and forth. Final Wars, yeah, he kills Zilla with a single hit in Sydney, yeah. <laughs> Easily in my top five Godzilla films to eat, uh, ever. It's a really fun one. I can't remember the name of it either, but I like the one where his son is in it as well. Because he looks so derpy. Doors chained up on the other end. Typical. Don't worry. The mirrors are too dirty to reflect anything. That's, <laughs> that's a good law reason for why the mirrors don't work. <laughs> too dirty to reflect anything. Check for traps. Keep trying. You're doing great. Oh. Dead Raider. Yeah, the floor's flammable, so try not to hit that. Oh, God. Never mind. Is this the right way? I think so. At least as far as dungeons go, interesting design to use a funhouse. Oh, this is going to be a combat encounter, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, is that him? Obviously, he's behind some glass. I imagine he's just going to send a spew of um, ghouls our way. Let's see if I can cancel this with some jumping. Oh, or grenades. Yeah, that works. Oof. Okay, luckily the explosion kind of bumped me out of that one. It's a fun use of traps. All right, I want... 1,020 uh, health, health points. That's insane. Uh, platforming. Love it. Okay. Now I wish I had the jetpack. Could be here for a while. Not too bad. Not going to jump in that light. Warning. Funhouse may cause motion sickness. Is that a door? It is. Through there or through here? Oh, is this a shortcut? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh, not a shortcut. Well, it is, but it's not. Normally, this would be like a, a hackable terminal. Oh, okay. It would be hackable from the other side. <laughs> Just seeing what that leads to. Okay. Well, this mirror does work. Right? Or... Oh boy, okay. Yeah, this is disorienting. Oh, and Fallout 4 physics does not like me being stuck in here. I am I think I'm too big for it. Because <laughs> I'm in power armor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it, oh, is this a mirror? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay, that has a dead end. Those ones aren't even real. Is that a mirror? It must be. Wait, so... This one's not a mirror? Oh, okay. To the sound of my voice. You're going Your voice is coming from here. Can I... No, I can't shoot it. Hmm. It wouldn't be straight on. Oh boy. This is actually making my stomach turn. Oh, these are, there's holes in this. Try not to run into that. Oh god. Let's get out of here. Feeling dizzy yet? 
Actually, I am. I was surprised. I didn't think the game would be able to make me feel dizzy, but it did. Okay, upside down room. Well, how did you get there? Okay. Oh, well, I wasn't even an encounter. Oh. Can... There's no way Fallout 4's AI is going to work this out. No. <laughs> round and round and round and round. Oh, okay. They can run towards me, though. No, nope, that's not the real one. Uh, open every door. Open every door. Ah, uh, okay. I probably will have to kill these guys to figure out which way I need to go. That one has a trap. God, this is so <laughs> dizzying. Nope. Yes, this one. Oh, no, that's the way I came in. At least I can kill these guys. No, don't close the door. All right. Hey. Right. Okay, let's take our time. First door to the left. Nope. Maybe? No, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Nope. Possibly. Yes, this one. Well, you're a bit hardier than those others, it seems. It's the entrance? Smarter, I'm afraid. This is the entrance, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, oh, so he wasn't even in here the whole time. So annoying. He must have been living here based on the bed. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's go confront this guy. I wish there was a middle ground. Uh, indie gaming is garbage too. Oh, we were talking about. Dude, other kids, uh, they don't play Daggerfall, they play Fortnite and Discord grooming. <laughs> I don't think Discord grooming is a game, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the kids do not play Daggerfall, that's very true. That's the way out of here. Do you think Elder Scrolls 6 will be the greatest thing ever, or a huge fart? Yeah, a huge fart based on um, Starfield, I'm gonna be honest. Oh! Game just crashed. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I love it. Fallout 4 never change. Next gen patch. Really fixing the game up. Hopefully we got an auto save just as we opened the door then. Oh, such an abrupt crash as well. Hello. For, uh, Fallout Tactics today, Jula? Possibly. I should be able to get it in. I'm... Well, I'm going to be playing all three games today, so yeah. <laughs> Statistically, it's guaranteed. Yeah, okay, I did save. Nice. Well, at least the game had the courtesy to save just before it crashed. Ah, but fair's to fix one thing, break 15 other things. Yep, that's what they do. Right. Said to meet him on the roof. Why have I got two quest markers? What's this one? Oh, it's just another quest I've got activated. Turn that off. Confront Oswald the Outrageous. Can I fast travel there? Oh, nice. Saves a little bit of time. Like Patrician TV pointed out, I just called six pre-production started as soon as Starfield came out, so they don't have time to learn from this, their mistakes with Starfield. Mm-hmm. 
That's the problem. They just jump into the next thing straight away. Ah, so we're back in the theatre. It is weird, though, how they still forget certain things between games. Like, between Fallout 4 and Starfield, uh, they remove these elevators. And, I mean, fair enough, these elevators take a long time to load in the assets. But seeing as how many people complained about loading screens in Starfield, you would have thought that maybe they would have capitalized on systems like this to hide loading screens. Oh, hello. No, 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 we're not, we're not doing that. There you go. Okay, easy. Where'd he go? Oh, did he dis- This mechanic. Why add a mechanic where he disappears just before he dies if he doesn't? He, I actually saw him ragdoll, and then he just suddenly disappears. And of course, he got his full health back. Brilliant. Where do you go? Oh, hello. Come on, game. And the next one. You gonna disappear again? Well, he plays his death animation and then he just goes away in a puff of smoke. Oh, my god, I used all my ammo. Oh, dear. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. That's a radium rifle. That's not going to be very good. Okay, let's use whatever this is. Oh, plasma rifle. What's up, bro? Did I die this time? No, oh, no. Okay, I must be missing something, because I feel like he's just going to keep respawning. Okay, well, can't do that. Oh no, are we finally... Are we progressing by making us move further up? At least his friends aren't spawning anymore. Oh, there you go. Oops. Movement speed. 20 molotovs. What did that do? Is that going to be better than my... What do I normally use? The mechanist armor. Which has 72. Wow. Okay. Well, the, the damage resistance is terrible. Charisma. Reduces damage by humans, though. It's not terrible. The movements... This is what I want. That movement speed is way better than some charisma. Oh, and I can put it on top of my helmet. Of course. Why would I not want to do that? Oh, it's just because I'm in the power armor. I no, I think I want the damage resistance while I'm in the power armor. Okay, are we done? I think so. It's another kingdom claimed. There's a log. Nope, that's. Turn the fog off. Turn off mist. And assign a gang. I think it's just a pop up, isn't it, when it comes up? Oh, yes, yeah. 
Right, I can't remember what one I'm doing. I think it was... The Disciples? I think it's the Disciples. Okay, next is... Ah, oh, there's three more. Damn. Let's go back to the uh, the base at the moment because I've got to repair power armor. Why is everything so bright in the pit boy? Uh, um, I don't know. I think it's just because it's the power armor pit pit boy. It does look a little blown out actually on the uh, on the stream. I'm not sure why. I haven't got any filters applied. Is my brightest high maybe? Display. Hard opacity. There's no brightness there anyway. In. No, it would be in display, wouldn't it? Yeah, don't know. Nuke World and Survival changes from a joke to a real horror game. Oh, I can imagine. Like the the amount of um enemies in this one is no joke in this DLC. Equip. Equip. Cool. Did I do any modifications? I actually don't think I have enough perks to do anything of note. No. Do they all have welded plate at least? All right, let's see if I can put this top hat on. And hopefully the movement speed buff. I keep the movement speed buff when... Oh, I'm over encumbered. Hopefully I keep the movement speed buff when um, I go into the power armor. All right, where's the workshop? There might not be one around. I'm just going to dump it in here. Store all junk. That sorted out the um our problem. Is there any work armor workbenches or anything? Oh, okay, these respawn. That's nice. Or maybe I just missed that one. No workbenches from the looks of it. Unless they're in the player home. Good games kind of appeal to everyone, though. Like, folks still playing Morrowind or Hades. Dishonored was a double-A budget, uh, not triple-A. People still play in it to this day. I've had a lot of my favorite games were more double-A releases. Like, Morrowind was a double-A release. Because that company was about to go under before it came out. Okay, let's see if I can do anything. Now, saying that, I bet the power armor junk doesn't carry, bro. No. Uh, that's annoying. So, yeah, we can't do anything anyway because I've got no junk. Oh, well. Don't need to do anything. It would be nice to upgrade my guns, but it's probably not a lot we can do because I've not got any perks. Let's go. Onwards to... Uh, let me actually just check. Who are we? Is this the Disciples? Porter. Okay, yeah. Okay, so these people are the disciples. That's where I want to make the leaders of this place. Let's actually get vans. That'll probably actually help us. Um, and... Okay, let's secure Dry Rock Gulch. Did you happen to see any new games uh, you like from the events this week? I'm looking at Mecha Break and Kingmaker. Uh, yeah, so Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I mean, I knew it before this um, before this news came out. But uh, yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 I'm hyped for. Um, damn, was that it? I was 
I would initially really hype for Dragon Age until the reveal. Avowed, um, honestly not that hype for Avowed, but I kind of want to play it out of, I guess, morbid curiosity. I don't think it's going to be that good. Uh, I think they really... That, that game seems like it's been stuck in development hell, I'm going to be honest. It's been talked about for ages. I think it was revealed like four years ago. So there's that. Uh, um... No, I don't think that might only be <laughs> the only ones. Uh, for nostalgic reasons, I'm curious about the new Call of Duty Zombies mode. But they didn't really reveal a whole lot about that. But that's mainly just for nostalgia. Uh, honestly, I've not been a good Zombies mode since like Black Ops 3, and that was 2015, I think. So That... Um... Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Nothing really was jumping out for me. I, I, to be fair, I've not kept up with any indie news. So, oh, I'm going complete wrong way. I'm more interested in, in indies recently. I've been playing the Ardenfell demo. That's really good. Um, not very well polished, but it's a demo, so it doesn't really matter. been playing as well dread delusion that's pretty nice i feel like magazine publications gave that game uh like bad expectations though because they kept on advertising it as a moral wind as like uh inspired by moral wind and i mean the developer might say he was inspired by moral wind but i think that people sets people up with the wrong expectations for the game it's not really like moral wind at all other than it has like quite zany world design and pretty interesting out there lore but uh, it's very much like it's not an RPG at all. It's a very basic... Uh, it has very light RPG elements in how you level up. But um, I wouldn't say it's very much like Morrowind at all in that regard. But that's pretty fun. As far as indie games go. But no, I've not stayed up, kept, kept up with the recent move. And it's completely free. Beyond all reason, it's a successor to Total Annihilation and Supreme Commander. Oh, nice. And it's completely free on their website. That sounds good. I've been pretty big indie news for you. BAR had a really big uh, release recently. And I've been playing it a ton with friends. Oh, Beyond All Reason. Oh, that's the game you're talking about. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. Halo Infection is better than COD Zombies. I can't back you on that one, bro. I'm stuck. I, I, I mean, I was at the perfect age to like find the Call of Duty zombie storyline interesting, even though in hindsight it's absolutely batshit insane and overly conv convoluted for not really any reason. <laughs> but that's the reason I like zombies so much. Gameplay wise, they're pretty comparable, honestly. Infection had a maybe a high skill gap. Headshots are more important, but that's just the general Halo Call of Duty skill gap. Play completely differently. Call of Duty Zombies is more about endurance, I would say. Just like how long can you play while running in circles, essentially. Did you play Outward? It's an open world survival Dark Souls. They're making Outward too. I've seen Outward like, advertised on Steam, but no, I've not ever played it. I didn't know it was a Souls-like. That's interesting. I knew it was uh, like an open world game. Okay, fellow, I've been giving it my all. Here's a good uh, rough rough and tough 15 minutes and not a single itch of respect given. I always done knew that side of the island ain't right. I am so out of the... <laughs> I am so out of the... Uh, out of the out of the loop what's going on here uh you said earlier time for jay walker's iconic welsh brap into the microphone i actually don't even know who uh jay walkers is maybe i'm out of touch with welsh youtubers but was it brap oh he probably rolls his r's right i'm terrible at rolling my r's that's uh that's a southern welsh person for you northerners can roll their r's really well on brap brap I don't even know what that is, bro. Well, I know Brap is something to do with um, 
Isn't it like some sort of fetish thing? <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Probably not something I should have just said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that on 4chan back in the day. Okay, so the enemies here are... Rip-off versions of tunnelers. <laughs> like, easy tunnelers. Bloodworms. Interesting, I've never... Yeah, they've not really done a lot of... Um... Never mind. I was going to say they've not done a lot of irradiated insects, but they've, they're mostly all irradiated insects. Rad scorpions, rad roaches, all the uh, all the flying bugs. What's up? Rip off from New Vegas. I guess this must have been a common model. Uh, you in charge of this place? In charge here? We like to say the only thing that's really in charge here. Uh... More dumb robots. Well. Okay. It's like, he, is he gonna have a health bar or what? Oh, you're kidding me. The first, uh. Why? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, these things are tanky as hell. Okay, let's assume that maybe they're immune to plasma. Nope, they're just super tanky. Oh, we're gonna have a bad day with this fella. Got death claw levels of um <laughs> of health. <laughs> it's Bethesda already dead. Well, the company's not gonna die anytime soon. It's got it's got Microsoft back in it. The games it makes are still um apparently profitable. So, is the company gonna die? No. Is the company that people or are the games that people want from the company ever gonna come out? Also, no. It's figuratively dead. Maybe they can turn it around. Never say never, but don't get your hopes up. Good morning. Had no idea you did live streams. Yep, I live stream. I try to do every Thursday. Sometimes I can't if other things come up, like work and stuff. But um, oh great. So is Sheriff Hank just gonna always be hostile to me now, and he's just unkillable? Ah, uh, maybe it was a mistake. I forgot that I'm not playing the type of RPG that I thought I was. Murder Hobo is not allowed in this game. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. Let's avoid this area. Probably should have talked to him. Might have been important. Investigate. Oh no, it wants me to talk to him. Oh, did I just soft lock this entire quest? You're kidding me. Hey, 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 hey. I'm friendly, I'm friendly. No, 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 please. Oh, bro. You're kidding. Okay, surely there's gotta be some kind of route around this. Ah. See, that's a weird one from Professor, because they're always all about, like, never soft blocking the game. <laughs> Which is the only reason I'm going to keep investigating. Because they it's very unlike them to have a situation where you can't progress because of your choices. They're not fans of consequences. Okay, what did I just pick up? Some sort of weapon. Dead Eye Handmade Rifle. Time slows down. That sounds pretty good. Is that what I picked up? A uh, mighty combat shotgun, it was this. Oh, cool. Is this better than mine? It's the same, but it does more damage. And it's lighter as well. Oh, brilliant. All right. You're my new favorite gun. Q Faith. Combat. I've only got four shells, which isn't ideal. But. It's quite nice. Okay. The saloon. Oh, are these all? Oh, I was going to hope they were all just um, the sheriff, but in different areas. No! <laughs> no! I can't! 
Oh dear. Right, so talk to one of the sheriffs at the gate. So this sheriff down here hates me, but there might be another one at this gate. And that's our only chance. Otherwise, I actually have faced a consequence <laughs> for for my actions. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Never played the 3D Fallouts, only one and two. Yeah, they are um, they're very different games. I can say that. Oh, out of ammo. Oh, yes. Okay, this guy is still friendly. Let's not shoot him. Fortunately, we have had a backup there. The first it was like bungee to me. <laughs> Dead, but making loads of cash. Yeah. That's the situation. They, they went through a 3 4 3 situation, but they never changed their name. Oh, God. Stop spawning. Nimble lever action. Lever action. 45% faster movement while aiming. What's that like compared to my sniper rifle? Okay, so my sniper rifle, 96, with a 197 range. Oh, it's terrible in comparison. Never mind. And I only have one one bullet for it. Yeah, I'll play along. Oh, this place is infested. This whole area is infested with blood worms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must mean the no good outlaws that are coming out of Mad Mulligan Mine. Well, partner, if you're interested in lending a hand, I could use a no deputy. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh what's really going on? Processing confused our concerns no, sure. are friendly. Now, okay. Got a spare key in the safe by the theater. Oh, I need to talk to the three amigos. Alright, cool. Do I need to wear this western outfit for them to talk to me? I hope not. What's the specs on it? Oh, that's not terrible. But nowhere near as good as the mechanist. Also, the, is the movement... No, I don't think the movement speed buff is active at the moment. So, no point. We're using that hat, I guess. You can go and see stuff in... Southwest Cali in the desert that is only 40 or 50 years abandoned. And it's already... And it's nearly dust. Half of Fallout basically has fresh paint on it. Yeah, this place is uh, pretty well preserved, all, all things considered. Fuck. Hate the speech system in this game. <laughs> yeah, can we skip this? Uh, okay. That's optional though. I don't want to serve the drinks. Or is it only optional if I can pass the fist speech check? Oh, God. What kids wanted to do this in a theme park? Howdy. There's your drink, partner. Ugh. Whoops. Stop blowing up all this dust. This isn't the way in anyway. All of the areas in the theme park are like this. You can skip a bunch of unnecessary nonsense. You can't skip. Oh, you can't skip a bunch. Yeah. 
I hate this. In games where you're forced to do all these little quests. Oh, well, that's another gun out of ammo. It's not looking good. Oh, that's out of ammo. It's not looking good at all. Here you go, Miss Trixie. Oh, do I need to talk to you as well? Sure thing, bro. Just walk into the street, count to three. Uh, let's do it. I'm in. Let's go. Well, all right. Hey, now we can't have a shootout without you being properly equipped. Here, all right. Okay. It's actually a gun. Oh, <laughs> I would have thought it'd be like a kid's gun. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Any minute. Uh huh. Bro, I. Oh my god. Uh, you said free. But I've got to wait for the the voice line to come off screen. Yes. Hold on to your hat, one eye, Mike. I'm about to show you the fastest gun in the West. Let's see if your shooting is as fast as your mouth. Okay, let's let's do it properly. Oh, what do you mean the AI just gave up? Maybe don't do a quest that relies on the AI to, to do things in a certain sequence if you're not confident your system can do it. Okay. So, let's walk together. Nope. nope. Oh god. Did it count? Yeah. Hope you show those outlaws what a real deputy of Dry Rock Gulch can do and have a few extra rounds for that six shooter I gave you. So they were just giving kids like actual guns. That can't go wrong. Okay. And if you do it with no clip, I'll break the script in and soft. It'll break the script in and soft lock it for you. You have five more of these to do, by the way. Ah, love it. I'm afraid everyone's good. Rest assured. Now, why don't you take this part up and hey, why not take a few more? Sure. Thank you. Okay, that's two. Good, the third one. I just can't help myself. I talk, I blast. <laughs> Pretty much, that is the situation. <laughs> if you're not interested enough to me when I'm doing a murder hobo run, I'm gonna murder hobo you. That's the problem. At the moment, I'm role playing Speedy Gonzalez and I don't have time to talk to these guys. No. Okay. All right. Good luck out there. Drop a giddy up buttercup in the corral. Please say that I have one. Uh, of course I don't. I might have had one, but I dumped it back at the power armor place. Oh, and it's one of those ones where you just have to go find one as well. Not even a no quest marker. Oh boy. Yay. Um, man, I wouldn't even know where to lock, to be honest. 
Why is there a star core here? I thought all the star cores would have been only in um in that first place, the sci-fi world we were in. Okay. I'm a, I'm hoping they would pot some of these buttercup horses in this area. If not, we'll have to fast travel back to the entrance. I hope this guy still hates us. Let's not go talk to the Sheriff Hank. And hopefully we've got one stored there. Yeah, saying that, let's actually go talk to the um to the Protectron again and see if he has anything to say. He might tell us where to find some. Refreshment stance. Okay. What's the... Ah, oh, these are the refreshment stands. Nope. The Giddy Up Buttercup is... Like, the toy horse, isn't it? I would have thought... I'd be able to see that quite clearly. Okay, check all of them. Oh, is this... No, that's a Nuka-Cola cap. Not one here. Let's just check around. I guess these are the toilets, yeah. Is that another... Nuka Cola stand? No. Or well, might be. Nothing there. No. It looks like those are the only refreshment stands, so I must have missed it. Let's just check around here. Bandit Roundup. It's not that. Oh, this is a refreshment stand as well, right? Okay. Need to look for the, the small... Small wheeled ones as well. Hmm. Oh, I don't not care about that enough. Hmm. Tactics could be fun if the turn base wasn't broken. I think it's the drink stations. Oh, on the chairs. I'll go back there now and look on the chat. Look at the chairs. Um. I mean, I've. It, do you mean like how the the real-time system is broken because it's essentially just a turn-based system with the turn timers so turned on to zero. Because, yeah, that's, that's pretty balked, gotta be honest. Like, I've seen um, speedruns of the game that Terranium sent me, and the way to speedrun the game is to literally just run by everyone because they can't react to you in time because their turn timer takes too long. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty broken. Okay. On the chairs. Oh, it's in the bin. Hello. Found it. Junk. Drop. Good job there, cowboy. If I ever need someone to tame these Broncos again, I'll give you a holler. You remember Tremors? Do you remember how? <laughs> You remember how funny and wacky would that be in Fallout? Yeah, that... <laughs> What's the famous line from that? It's like, oh my god, they're eating her! And now they're gonna eat me too! No! <laughs> what a great film. Well... I oh, love some knockout Cazadors. Uh, not knock off Cazadors. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, <laughs> the blood worm, like, whipped the, uh, whipped the fly away. 
Oh no. So low on ammo. Okay, well, he just died somehow. Tactics is fun, just don't play on easy. Ah, that's my problem, is that I have been playing on easy. Oh, there's just one right there as well. I get. Is it, like... Do you uh, believe that the, the, the challenge makes it better? My problem with, um, I've had with Tactics is because I'm trying to play it fast for these streams, is that I'm not playing it as you probably should. I've been avoiding all of the random encounters, and I'm, I know if I took the time to grind those random encounters and get my team's experience a bit higher, um... That would be, like, more beneficial. So I'm aware that a lot of my woes with tactics are caused by me trying to play the game in the way it wasn't expected to be played. I've still found it pretty challenging on easy. Then again, that might be a situation where easy mode maybe gives you less experience, and that's probably might be what is causing my woes. Not sure. Okay. Enter Mad Mulligan's Cave. Mine. Did you see the Fallout show? I did. So I'll say the show, like from a writing standpoint, all over the place, the lore completely messed up. Pacing's a bit iffy, but I liked the characters, and that's, like, pretty subjective. So, I'm interested in a Series 2, because it's guaranteed anyway at this point. Because um, quite enjoyed the characters. I don't think it's a great representation of Fallout, but as an independent TV show, it's not the worst one I've seen. By no means the best, either. But, um, yeah. Subjectively, I was okay with it. As in, I enjoyed it, but um, as a representation of the uh, universe, not great. Writing, yeah, as I've already said, iffy, law, completely balked. All the difficulties and tactics do is increase and decrease the damage the player and AI does. Okay. That doesn't sound like it make a big difference to me then. Just increase the challenge. Is, is Terry pre-war? Because he's been looking in some great condition. I'm interested in actually... <laughs> who is Terry in this situation? Like, why is he looking... He must be a raider. R.S.T. Terry's note. We're not letting those damn raiders take over the park. Ah, okay, so he was he was part of the people who were here before the raiders. Cool. Oh my god, is that actually a... Oh, no, never mind. It's a Brahmin ox. I thought it was a an actual pre-war ox that was somehow preserved. Oh boy. Whoop. This is not going to work out very well. I'm going to have to find a better weapon. I don't want to use the radium rifle because it's really um not suited for this. I didn't think the law felt messed up. Um... Uh, why do you say that? Oh, just because they... they uh, I guess it's the prop designer's fault, but the, the prop in the NCR school that said how Shady Sands was nuked before... Um, or could be read as saying Shady Sands was nuked, Shady Sands was nuked before New Vegas. Uh, they did come out later and say that was a mistake, but um, I, that was that's mainly it. That seems like a pretty big issue that they, sh they should have like seen. They should have paid notice to those dates and how people would have read that scene when they showed that. Uh, in terms of the fan theory, I mean, they haven't confirmed that Vault-Tec nuked it. But yeah, that was a running fan theory. 
the official, I say the official reason, the official reason, yeah, the reason that was written by Tim King, because he has come out and said what his reasoning was, was that, um, wait, hang on, what, I'm trying to remember, oh, so, China thought that, well, China was right in that the US was using biological warfare, which was against, um, I guess, the codes of warfare that they were following, uh, in response to being to that announcement, rather than stop producing FEV, the US decentralized FEV and sent it around the country. Uh, China saw that as an act of war, and then, or China saw that as like an illegal kind of act, so they sent their nukes just to hit um, where the FEV was. So mostly in West Tech, in, you know, with the glow in Fallout 1. Uh, the US saw those missile launches, retaliated, then China retaliated with a full launch, and that's what happened, according to Tim Kaine. But yeah, the, the funny fan theory with the Fallout law was that it was vault -Tec. And that seems to be what they've been running on. I don't think they've confirmed that, though. So much as, like, leaned into it. It's a possibility. But it, it doesn't make sense for um, Cooper, or for Cooper's child to be at that birthday party if vault were going to launch the nukes. Because you would have thought that the his wife would have been aware they were going to do it. Unless they went over ahead, I guess that's possible. I think that's the the, the main reason I'm interested in series two is because I want to see if they can, if, how they're gonna fix that. You know, <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> and also because they hinted at New Vegas, that's an if that's an interesting or well, like one that is gonna be quite inflammatory i think because they'll have to confirm some kind of ending for new vegas there's always a scenario though where they just leave it super ambiguous like just if new vegas is completely dead and they never really refer to it at all but that will i think anger people even more I went, they went to a ton of trouble for the vaults and explaining that stuff and showing it. I thought it was... Re oh, I'll I, I read for your messages in order. Uh, I thought it was really good as uh, as good as they're going to get for a TV adaption. Yeah, that's kind of my takeaway. Like, there, there was a lot of problems, but I, I, I honestly think with Bethesda at the helm, that's probably as be the best we were ever going to get from a TV show. And, yeah. You know, I, they, I think they did as best as they could, given the situation. Uh, I mean, there were like a handful of world changes and a crap ton of awesome sets and, and costumes. Oh, yeah, like I, I, that was what I was saying as well. Like as soon as the show came out, when my first stream after, the props really blew me away. Like uh, you could, if you're going to be cynical, yeah, they probably did just 3D print a lot of these models. Or like at, at least uh, copied these models one to one, but... Still, it, it was uh, an impressive amount of work went into that. Yeah, season two in New Vegas will be great. Hopefully, we'll see what they confirm. I think it was implied that Cooper divorced her and left. Yeah, so I, I know that he divorced, but I would have thought she would have said, Hey, Coop, can I have the daughter, my daughter this weekend so that I don't accidentally nuke my kid? Because he was doing the kids show with his kid. And seeing that that was her kid as well, I think there would have been a conflict of interest for her there. That was the only odd thing. I don't, th I don't think she cares about Coop. I think she cares about her child. It wasn't... It, they never seemed to show that she was like so much of a psychopath that she would willingly um, nuke her own child. Are we, why not use 3D printing? It's plastic. Problem is making functional props for anything mechanical. Yeah, they probably did use 3D printing for most things, but stuff like the power armor, I would assume they probably... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how sturdy that prop is. I know they've been sending that prop everywhere. Like, it was on the red carpet, so it must be decently built. I know... I guess there's, there's layers. There's, like, um different levels of 3D printing as well. The consumer level of 3D printing I'm thinking of is generally pretty, like, the plastic isn't a great grade. But in Hollywood, I'm sure they're affording some best quality stuff. But yeah, uh, I mean, they get some credit, I think, for the, the effort taken to make it look like Fallout 4. 
and whether you like Fallout 4 as a static or not, I guess, is, is, is uh, going to affect how you agree with those props. Wait, what did I... Did I come across anything in here? What was even I doing? Oh, I was just exterminating it. Okay. I thought I was, in a, I was trying to look for something. You 3D print it and then ponder it and paint it. 3D printing is just a way to get the base model and then you finish it. Yeah. Uh, a guy recently uh, actually built a functional battle rifle from Halo and even has a massive... That has massive compromises, like reducing the caliber down to 5.56 and making the counter go down in twos. Yes, it works. That's some really impressive. Uh, yeah, I've actually seen you can 3D print guns, so I guess it's just uh, down to the le the quality of the actual um, material you're using. That was a big controversy, wasn't it, like three, four years ago? That they were like, oh my god, everyone's going to be 3D printing guns and it's going to be like chaos in the streets, but... It no one shelling out that much. If you're gonna pay that much for a 3D printer, you can just f get your hands on a gun. Even in countries like the UK, where it's not even that illegal in the UK, you can get a license in the UK. Um, I say easily. As long, it's very time consuming, but you can get a license in the UK if you're willing to pay and take the time to do. Um, got to do the training and just, it's a lot of time and and like that's the investment you got to make. But if you're really interested in making a gun, I'm sure more people are going to do that kind of stuff than buy a 3D printer. <laughs> Even in a country where it's super hard to get a gun, I'm sure there's illegal routes. You could get it easier than shelling out 5-10k on a 3D printer. Building a real functional firearm is insanity, especially when you're trying to replicate a fantasy design. Oh, yeah, because they don't... Imagine trying to replicate any of the fallout free guns like okay like these ones obviously impossible like you could do a laser rifle actually and it could shoot a laser uh, all that would show is that uh, lasers aren't deadly in real life <laughs> you could definitely do that but these guns the the scalableness is probably terrible if you were to make this hunting rifle one you could have to find the left-handed remington r700 i guess and then modify it so that it fits these dimensions. That's when you probably will find that uh, Bethesda's gun design is even worse than you would think just looking at it. Not to mention how comically large this revolver is. I bet... Oh, I can't even get it to show from the side. There you go. That actually doesn't look too bad. But it must be huge considering that my power armor fingers are about double the dimension of a human's. <laughs> Okay, well, Dry Gulch, that was really easy, actually. I need to claim it, don't I? Dry Gulch Theater. Oh, I, I didn't listen to what the protractor said. Is there more? Oh, no. Wow, that was done. Okay. We managed to finish that, actually. Wow, we managed to get two kingdoms done within the hour and a half. That means... And I, I say this every episode, I think. <laughs> but fingers crossed, we might actually be able to finish it the next stream. Might get Fallout 4 finally done. Two more places left. And then there's probably kind of some kind of boss fight, isn't there? Probably clear out the two remaining gangs. Where's the flag in the theater? Nope, not in the theater. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Sheriff Hank. Yeah, not in there. It wouldn't be there. Leave me alone, bro. Ah, there. Disciples? Bottle implant is even easier. Oh, nice. Let's do that next, then. Which is this one. Okay. Well, laser my weld and call me jeweler. That would be aw awesome. Uh, Dolly, I was playing a uh, co-op Halo 5 campaign and the battle rifle still shines. Uh, how? Yeah, I think the battle rifle was my favorite when I'm thinking of Halo 3 MP. I was always go-to for the battle rifle and then the sniper rifle. Not a big fan of the assault rifle. Preferred the burst for whatever reason. I felt like I could hit 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 hit, 
hit heads a bit easier. In Halo 3, I always used to love using the pistol, even though it was a shadow of what it used to be in, um, in Combat Evolved. Essentially shooting myself in the foot using that in multiplayer, but it just felt good to use. Wait, this is the one I was fighting from earlier. How did he end up here? This is where that bloodworm that were tail whipped him must have sent him. Oh, I wonder if this is where we'll find the, uh, the CEO. I have seen some footage of that. The Walt Disney ripoff satire. They were supposedly worried about so-called untraceable guns, but anyone could file off uh, a serial and steal one. Yeah, that was a big thing, wasn't it? With It was one, they'd be untraceable, and two, they'd be plastic, so you could bring them through um, like airport security. But like, you're right, Like you can already just um, scratch the, the serial number off. Or you can just, I mean, the, the federal government, I've heard stories in the USA where if you just paint your gun and the paint fills in the numbers just a little bit too much, they'll count that as like, um, as removing the serial code and charge you with a crime. Seems a bit over the, bit over the top. Is this where we need to go? And then the thing with the plastic guns, isn't the Glock already basically plastic? I'm sure it must have some metal parts in it, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could um, retrofit it to be mostly plastic anyway. The battle rifle is also a very realistic gun. Literally the only thing that would uh, need to change about the design is make it semi-auto uh, and make the barrel longer and you have a real battle rifle. It's a, it's it, it's bullpup, isn't it? From what I remember, Welcome it's similar in. If I'm remembering that, it is bullpup. It's kind of similar to an SA60, which I think is or was the British uh, the British rifle of choice. No, I think that gun has a bad rap because I don't think it was amazing. But in Lux, it's similar. You just need to put a massive rail on the top of it. And then you're not far off. Put a screen in the back. So sit back and, enjoy and like you said, probably make it semi-auto. I'm not sure how easy it is to actually have a burst fire on a real rifle. But the SA-60, if I'm getting the name right, I'm pretty sure that's a select fire. Like it can be semi-automatic or fully automatic. So possibly re like fitting that to be a, a free burst. Might not be too difficult, but I have, I have no idea how easy that stuff is to do with guns. <laughs> I have fires. Um, a, I say fired. It, it was a British army. Like, they do, like, field days where you can test out... Essentially, where they're trying to recruit people. And they had a simulation there where they gave you the rifle. You were lying on prone, and there was like a 3D projector in front of you. And it was simulating a scenario from Afghanistan where you had to pick out uh, if someone was like worth, worth being shot at, basically. And I mean, the takeaway is obviously you just shoot people who shoot at you. But um, so I fired that. It was it was a real essay. It was a real rifle, but it was decommissioned. Like it didn't have the the barrel was blocked. But they'd set it so that you'd actually felt recoil when you pulled the trigger, and it just shot. It would have shot a like an IR laser at, at the screen to read your um the read your shots. That was pretty cool. That was years ago though, so I don't know if it's still the active rifle that our military uses. SA80, that's it. It's an assault rifle though, not a battle rifle. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure on the actual technical differences between the um the terms. To be honest, I just know that it kind of looks similar, <laughs> and that's it. Purely visual based. Oh man, I really need to. Um, I think I've got to go back to Diamond City and buy some ammo. There might be some. There must be some vendors back in the um the entrance point to this DLC. I need to check out that place. Seems like a lot of work to pretend to shoot. Yeah, it probably was. But that's the UK for you. 
they would have to, uh, you'd have to do like a full course and get a license even just to shoot that at, um, like a military gay, so a military parade kind of thing, so it's a lot of work just to get people to, uh, to want to join the army. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna have to take some psycho. This is nuts. They're so tanky. Alright. <laughs> Not that that made a difference, well. <laughs> I can't even notice any. <laughs> anything. Need a tax stamp, but you can own an AA-12? That's a fairly automatic one, right? In the US, that's nuts. I know uh, FPS Russia did a video in the past, and he with two of them. I think he said on the podcast he's on very um, every so often that um, it's not a very good gun, apparently. Apparently it jammed a lot. I don't know if they fixed those problems. But he wasn't a fan. Oh no, there's another gun out of ammo. I actually think we might just be stuck on the hunting rifle. And let me check. Is that everything we've used? Oh, okay, we managed to pick up a few more laser <laughs> shots. They don't typically issue civilian full auto tax stamps anymore, but technically it is possible. Wonder how hard it must be to get those kind of things. Well, if they don't issue them, I assume pretty difficult. <laughs> All right, we're not having a good day here. Ugh, we're stuck on the radium rifle. Let's use this out. And that's that done. Picked them some. St nope, we didn't pick any any shots. Out of ammo, out of ammo. <laughs> oh no! Got the sniper rifle. We got grenades and molotovs. Oh dear. Okay, we're on the radium rifle. Terrible for this situation. Heal up. Give me ammo. I'm actually going to do some lot pickings just so we can find something. Oh, is this the back rooms? Oh, I don't want 50 cal. That's what my hunting rifle is in. Just the, you want a piece of ammo I don't need. Okay, well this might avoid all the myolurks at least. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we take you through the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Oh, I can hear someone with a laser musket. Oh, it was a, an assault tron. I would prefer the fight <laughs> to fight the. <laughs> The, oh, I would prefer the Maya looks to this guy. Oh no! Don't do it! Don't do me! No, 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 no! Oh god, there's two of them! Why? Ah! No, 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 don't do that! Oh, come on! I hate this DLC. What is this? Seriously. What, what was the plan when they were designing this? Okay, at least they fight the Myrolux instead. I need more ammo. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshments. 
14 shots. Believe it or not, but this DLC are only getting worse. You haven't even had the reskin death claws yet. I didn't even think there would be reskin death claws, but that, that sort yeah, that seems to be on brand for this constant assault of high end enemies. Honestly, uh, Fox, how would you play this on survival mode? I would imagine this would just be a nightmare. It's taken me forever just face tanking everything. I guess you have to do the stealth route, right? Just completely avoid combat where you can. So I'm straight up not having a good time doing this. <laughs> I've lost about 2,000 rounds of ammunition into these enemies. Oh, no. Uh, but yeah, I hope that doesn't respawn everything. Oh. I found it. It's, it's, this, it's this the death claw. <laughs> oh, God. I prefer the Mario Look King from New Vegas. Oh, no. Give me ammo. Stop blowing up my eardrums. <laughs> well, at least the sh this shotgun slays. I need to get way more shotgun ammo. Oh, last time up. Forgot how tanky these things are. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> that might take a while. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We're done with Fallout 4 for today. <laughs> that was... It's not even tough, that's the thing. I mean, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty for the, the sake of trying to get through these games faster. It's just not... It's not even tough. It's just an onslaught. It's what we were talking about, why I didn't like Brotherhood of Steel, the, the game. Because it was just endless action with no actual fun in the combat. Like, they went for a Diablo kind of... um system without having the mechanics to actually make that playing that kind of game fun and fallout 4 has done the same because the shooting is better than it's ever been in fallout uh, in the 3d fallouts but it's still not it's not doom for example it's not a lot of interest in gameplay mechanics you can use for the shooting i guess stealth is the only time you can but anyway we're, <laughs> we're out of it now <laughs> into the next game we've got 65 hours left and it's between Fallout 2 and Tactics. Let's see what we get. It's going to be Fallout 2. <laughs> I'm sorry, Terranium. This wheel just hates Tactics. But hey, you're getting it anyway. It's guaranteed. Let's get some Fallout 2 going. Start the timer. Play. In tactics, you miss you missed a secret mission. Oh, is it luck based? I could always get jump scared by that. We can try and find it when we do play tactics. I do have ten luck, so we should be able to. Right. So if I remember, we got the f we we've got the fuel, don't we? We've got the navcom parts. Oh yeah. Who? I think they said they would fuel up the tanker for us as well. San Francisco. Tank and fuel. Okay, guess not. Navigate. Yeah, we got the navcom part. We need to use an FOB to access the navigation computer. I don't know what that is. Hello, what would you like? I'm in need of fuel. You're certainly a worthy recipient. I believe you can trust you with the secrets in the back room. Okay, so I've got to go talk to the emperor in the back room. So through here, I guess. Alright. Hello? You're just a god. Let's keep moving. Oh, and also, so I've had this problem where the a lot of things in Fallout 1 and 2 are tied to your CPU. And that's the reasons why, like, the fences in Fallout 1 in the military base, completely broken Um, in if you're playing it on a modern computer. You're meant to be able to use a repair skill to turn, to turn them off and you can run through them, but you can't in the modern games because it's tied to your CPU. Now, that's a big problem I've had with the text as well. But it turns out you can fix that by, um, you know, that that's in the menu. <laughs> that's that's a thing you can do. So even though uh, you can set it to slow, 
and it will be faster than it would have been originally because the CPU speed problem, but it will be on the screen long enough so you can read it. So that's a mistake for me. I didn't even read what this said and I just said it the faster. Um, so my bad. So we will actually be able to read what NPCs are saying now. All right, let's go talk to the Emperor. Yeah, law-wise, uh, these are some very... Uh, a lot of ingenuity in these guys to somehow turn their submarine into this. <laughs> I can see how people say that the she doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, I guess they've had 200 years. But well, how many people does a submarine have? Like 200? Must have a lot of engineers on it. Greeting, please enter your passport password. He probably gave me one, didn't he? Uh, let me go ask this guy before I orc this quest. Hello, Ken Lee. I mean, need a fuel? The computer is a computer? I see. Yes, it stores our history, our research, and our projects. Oh, he doesn't give me the password? In the back room, you will find that the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password. Oh, enter the password. Uh, Shi Huang T. Okay, thank you. The Shi are based. Best future for the US. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're the most advanced by far. They're essentially as, as advanced as the Enclave, uh, but don't seem to be as much of massive dicks about it. I guess is that the... Uh, I need to look deeper into the law, but is that meant to be like a satirical kind of, um, you know, an observation that the US government is the worst thing. It's like literally the bad guys. It's the worst thing that you can do. Uh, you can, uh, uh, that for the wasteland is the US government. And the best thing for the wasteland is uh, the Chinese. But in this situation, it's not the Chinese government though. It's just uh, one tanker and it's descend uh, one submarine, sorry, and it's descendants. Identity confirmed. Okay. Geolocation. What do you wish to locate? The villagers from my home. 97% aggregate chance. Villagers located at the current coordinates of the Enclave compound. Diagnostics. Um, network scan. Biolo biology station inactive. Chemistry station inactive. Physics station inactive. Are these on the boat? Activate. Oh, okay, we've got a lot of lore here. Xena program. The subject in which we had hoped to establish a series of meaningful experiments has disappeared. Stolen by the herbologists, which are the Scientologists in this universe. Uh, further inquiries have proven fruitless. Uh, so that's who made the, uh, the aliens then. Dr. Long Wang is convinced of success in creating mutant soldiers. Ah, so they were also working with FEV. Like the Institute, and everyone loves the FEV. So 20 minutes, you discovered this. Initial results of botanical radiation disruption prove unpromising. Dr. Sheng develops radiation-resistant plant life. Unpleasant side effects follow. Uh, results in plant life deemed too dangerous. Ah, this seems to be what New Vegas is referencing, I guess. I mean, or the, like the similar kind of situation, right, of the radiation-resistant plant life with the unpleasant side effects. All right. Now, we already know this history about the Chinese submarine. Submarine status. Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. 28. Oh, here we go. So, technicians, right. So, 15 officers, 28 petty officers, 27 enlisted, 16 civilian technicians. Well, those 16 civilian technicians were working real hard to get this place going. <laughs> um, Chinese Territorial Waters Patrol, Combat Patrol in the Alaskan, Combat Mission in the Californian Theater of Operations, Mission Outline R, read on. Submarine damage beyond repair, mainframe removed from vessel and relocated, which is, I guess, in here. Oh, yeah, you are the mainframe, aren't you? Ship refitted as a stationary defensive structure two miles north-northeast of San Francisco Harbor. Uh, read, what was that about combat patrols? Upon request made by the Alaskan frontline commander, General Huingwei, 
the Shuang Huang T was transferred to the Alaskan Pacific Theater of Operations to intercept American convoys in open waters. Under the command of Rear Admiral Yi Li, uh, she has sunk nine frigate, uh, nine freighters, four warships, damaged an 18 more craft, and put a significant... Damn, this, that thing went wild. Admiral Yi Li has also uh, been credited by the People's Liberation Army, uh, Navy, sorry, uh, as leading to the sinking of the USS Eber Atoll by the American submarine USS Interference. Hmm. Read more about Mission Outline R, which I assume is going to be launching nukes. Emergency nuclear warfare contingency plan for the People's Liberation Army in case of imminent defeat by a foreign power, accepted by the Communist Party of China. Okay. Interesting. So this ties into the uh, Bethesda law, which is that when, after the Battle of um, Anchorage, when US troops stepped onto Chinese land using power armor that, and equipped with fat mans, that's when China saw that as like imminent defeat and they launched the nukes. But Tim Kaine's reasoning is to do with, uh, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, with the whole West Tech, um, them trying to take out the FEV. And the war going from there. Back. Right. I need to turn off the um the submarine diagnostics. I don't want to format the drive because I feel like that's gonna kill the emperor, and obviously they'll be pissed about that. Forecasting. Input indicates Enclave more powerful than previously believed. Do not approach. Chances of submarine reappearing in this game. In this game? Oh, because he's playing a war game. 100%. I thought that was a fourth, fourth wall break then. Follow me. The Herbologist space launch is 95% likely to fail. I forgot that. Yeah, we need to go check out the... Uh, I, do we have time? Maybe we do have time to check out the Herbologists. I do want to finish Fallout 2 in this episode, though. But yeah, the Herbologists are literally working on the old um, the space shuttle, like the NASA space shuttle. 95% likely to fail. Factors, no fuel, improper sealant, poor leadership, lack of initiative. <laughs> and also they are based on the um, Scientologists. More, more, more. Tank of Vagrants, 0% likely to clear creature infestation without outside assistance. I've already done that. Process and desirability of providing assistance. The Herbologist Space Launch. Okay, you've said that. Ah, okay, it's just, just, just going through the same stuff. Hmm. Ah, okay, so... I need to take out... That submarine. That, but I don't want to piss off the she, but surely this would. Diagnostics. Network scan. Activate the chemistry station. Activate the physics station. Hard drive integrity is at 92%. The shielded core of the Emperor computer was 100%. The integrity of the data is 100%. Okay. Okay. Where are those biology and chemistry stations? Are they in here? Or are they on the tanker? Oh, these are the FEV tanks. Hmm. The Emperor will be able to direct our fuel to where you need it. I don't think that was an option. Let me go check those missions. Those, uh, those options again. Okay, so let's log in. Diagnostics. It's not like format drive. All data will be lost. Yeah, let's not do that. It's terrible. Yeah, so that's where the villages are. Network scan. So that's accessed. Access to chemistry station. Okay, fuel and derivatives. Direct fuel to the Poseidon tanker. Okay, that's done. Nice. I want to see what the rest of those options are, though. Access the chemistry station polymers. 
Once you have waded past the symbology and technical discussion, you discover that the shield worked on a new kind of polymeric combat armor. Um, interesting, but I imagine my, my uh, power armor is better. Okay. Physics. Exploration. We're still preparing a working module of an aerial vehicle. None of the designs we have created... Oh, yes, that's what we gave them the... Have we given them the plans, actually? So waiting for the introduction and in the mathematics, you discover that Shio learned to develop nuclear power again, rebuilding the space travel theories of the ancients, and they mock the homologist while doing so, and harnessing the energy of the sun, wind, and sea. At least that's what the nodes read like. Okay. It's interesting, they're trying to get, you know, nuclear power going. As long as they don't use it to nuke people. Have we given them the plans? I know there's a bunch of more um, experience to be gained there. I don't know if we've done it yet. There's no quest saying about it. I wish we still had that button from Fallout 1 where I could just talk to him. And just like ask him about the... Because um... I do have them here. Vertebrate plants. One of the scientists must be interested. Hey, what's up? Long time since I've been able to catch one of these streams. Nice, Dennis. Welcome back. How you been? I'm good. I'm Julo. I'm just looking around. I would like to know what you do. I create commands and devices for the Emperor and the Emperor's advisor. Currently working in fuel derivatives. There's no interest for you. For the most part, theoretically. Not yet, it's not. Nothing. Excuse me. Oh, there's no way... Oh, there is... Okay, so this is the FEV tankers. What's this? Torn paper. You see a piece of paper with writing on it. It looks like it's part of a code of some sort of... Of some sort. Unfortunately, the code is incomplete. Ah, so that's how you can find the... You can make out the following. One physics password. Two chemistry password. That's how you... I guess you can find out the password for the computer. I don't remember anymore. Can you blow up the Enclave base? Like how you can blow up the Brotherhood bunker in New Vegas? The Enclave base in New Vegas? No, I don't think you can blow it up. I think you can just um, kill... Uh, the one that doesn't like the NCR. I mean, I guess you could kill them all. But in terms of a quest, you will have to kill him. Marino, I think. Orion or Marino, something like that. But I don't think you can blow up the base. If you're talking about Fallout 2, then yeah, uh, I think we all know, obviously, the base blows up, um, but Horican does that. Sets the self-destruct. Okay. What do you do here? What are you planning? Who are you? More questions. Yeah, let's not hack into the computer. Is this the biology computer then? I set all the systems to be active in the um in the Emperor's computer, but I'm not entirely sure what that means actually. I probably I think I've checked these boxes. Do any of you want the vertebrate plants? This looks like mechanics over here. Oh, is this the um the other piece of paper? Torn paper free. I wonder where the third piece would be. Oh, it's there. I don't think we need well, we don't need that. That's I assume if you go in and uh, guns blazing to kill these guys. The backup. So Julia, remember the the two perks 
um, we were talking about before that boost your stats based on the time of day. Yep, uh, I alternate between the two depending on the areas I'm attacking. Uh, here's the answer to your survival nuka world question. Oh, oh, that's how you get through it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Especially using night person where you need to be stealthy. Oh. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone wants my vertebrate bird plants, which means I must have given them already. <laughs> Doesn't look like they have any good loot. No, in Fallout 2. Um, yeah, it blows up as part of the story. So Frank Horrigan sets it to self-destruct. But um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can set it to self-destruct before you talk to Frank. I don't think so. I think he just does it against your will. Alright, well, we're done here. We have the Navcom. Our only problem is the FOB. I still don't know what that is. Let's go put the Navcom computer into the tanker and see where we're at. It might be that we have to talk to the herbologists to get the FOB. Seeing as we had to talk to... The she for fuel, I think that would make the most sense to, to get the player to interact with all of the factions. No, I just realized the um sounds quite low for you guys, so I'm gonna bump that up a little bit. Just so you got some background noise. Hey, I want to go into the ship. <laughs> no, don't just look at it. Walk into it. There you go. Have you played Fallout 2 uh, RP? I just completed Fallout 2 Mega Mod, and a lot of the modded community uh, content is bugged. But it has so many things the new inventory system. Try it next time. Yeah, I need to, I have not tried out many Fallout 2 bugs other than the restoration patch that I'm running now. I need to check them out. I want to check out the um like the 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 expansion I say expansion packs, like the unofficial um expansion packs, the conversion mods I should say. They look really interesting. Okay, I need to put the Navcom parts into Is it this computer? Or oh, like that one looks busted, so it looks like that one. Go. Okay. Check status. Fuel tank's full. Cargo hold empty. Navigation computer non-functional. Right. Uh, navcom. That, that does nothing. Well, that's not great. That does nothing. Let's try on this computer. Oh, is it this one over here? That would make sense. This is where the wheel is. What's up? Well, no, I didn't talk to you. What's up? Ah, uh, it's because he's right underneath where I'm clicking. What's up? No, uh, get out the way, move, and again, keep going. Does nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Why is that not working? Check status. Back. Go. Back. Barter. <laughs> Can I barter with it? No. Huh. What am I doing wrong there? 
His outer nav parts. They lead you to believe that you'd fit onto the Poseidon Oil Navigation Computer. Is this the Poseidon Oil Navigation Computer? It says Poseidon Oil Computer. Or Poseidon Net Computer. But yeah, it's not working. Hmm. Must be doing something wrong. You're the one who knows all about the ship. Uh, yeah, you got to get the FOB that allows access to the navigate. Oh, it's got an FOB that allows access to the navigation computer room. Ah, okay, and it's got an IFF responder. Okay. How do I get it to go? How do you pilot this rig? Well, I see you've already gassed her up. When you've taken care of everything else, just press the button. The computer will take care of the rest if it's still working. Unless the old sub blows it up. But at least you won't have to worry about the Enclave firing at you. Because you've got the IFF responder. Just make sure you've got what you need to access. FOB, working computer, and fuel. Um, What's an IF... Yeah, what's the FOB? Oh, and a FOB is some of some sort of Enclave technology that lets you enter a door electronically. You probably find one of them at one of their bases or some such place. Fuck. Okay. So I guess we were meant to get it from Navarro. Well, back we go then, I guess. So the navigation computer room then isn't that. Is it this? It says I need an FOB to access it. Is it down in the... um? Yeah, first I'm going to go check down. Is it in the cargo hold, maybe? Um... Some computers down here, maybe. Let's go over here. Is that the only computers? Oh, there's some up there, but I don't think that's it. Because those are pretty um, well destroyed. Well, I can enter very easily, so it doesn't seem like this is spe special in any way. No. Hmm. I'm stumped, I'm going to be honest. It's not well signposted. Let's check these computers over here. But when I highlight them, it just says they're computers. Is that Navarro? Okay, yeah, I thought so. Ah, uh, let's get going. Wish I knew that when we were there. I guess it's going to be behind the commanding officer, isn't it? I never felt like I was fully settled. It was fully settled that China was the aggressor in the law. No, it's... I'm not sure if it's, like, clear in the in-game law. I just know what Tim Kaine has said. But, like, what he implied and what he put in the game, I guess, are different. But he said that... He wrote it. Or, I guess... I say he wrote it. Again, I'm not sure if it's in the game. I've not done the research on that yet. But he wrote it so that... China nuked or specifically launched missiles at West Tech, the West Tech facility, because America was using FEV and they felt like that was like against the the rules of war that they were following. That they should no use they shouldn't use any biological weapons. So they decided they'll destroy West Tech. Uh and then America saw that as uh like an attack on US soil and then launched the nukes from there. And then obviously China sent nukes in reply. Right, where are the herbologists then? Because this just goes to the sheet, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the she. Oh, this is a separate tile. I guess this is where the herbologist must be. You look like a herbologist. Well, I'm not. Yeah, that, that thing is not getting into space. <laughs> I'm just saying, looking at it. Hey, raw meat, who are you and what are you doing in here? I do not want to join the herbologist. Who are you and what are you doing? I am Harry. I'm the chief rocket technician. I'm looking around. You're not one of the, out of the brethren and you're therefore not off, authorized to be here unless you're planning to join in us. 
uh, which you may do by expressing your interest in AHS-7, who is at the guard post. Uh, now, either get downstairs or get out of here. Fine, fine, no, get the get tasty, testy. Or guard post. What do you want? Who are you? I'm Dave Handy. Uh, I'm down from Canada. So what do you do here? I show these guys how to move their data and I answer stupid questions all day long. Sort of stupid questions. Oh, like, why can't I get a multi-user hookup like that? I see these people sound like they're lots of fun. I have more questions. Well, nothing more I can do on that. I guess we gotta go downstairs. All right. Oh, it's like. You state your business. Uh, who are you? I'm AHS-7, the second in command of this facility. Before you ask, AHS stands for Aligned Hub Seeker, which, me uh, which means that I have cleared seven levels of neuro <laughs> neurodynes from my spirit. That means that I am more enlightened and closer to the hub of the Great Wheel than you. And this means that you will tell me what you want to do here now. Well, don't want to say I'm going to kill you all. I'm just looking around. This is not the place that is open to your tours. Well, I don't want to join you, so looks like I'm done here. Off to Navarro we go. Currently playing Daggerfall. What's this? This is Fallout 2. Pretty, uh, pretty good game. Much larger than Fallout 1. I think it suffers for that, though, personally. It's a bit overbloated in some areas, but I'm really enjoying it. Right. I think I've gone through everything I'm interested to on this. I guess we could go to the Umber Tribe, but I don't really care about that companion quest. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Navarro. Need to get a move on anyway. We've got an hour left to finish this, uh, finish the game. Well, I didn't save as well. Let's save here before we get killed by an Enclave patrol. Save. Traveling. Maybe we can get some advanced power armor for Sulik as well. I don't think I went in here last time. Oh no, I must have done it's open. My bad. Super cool kit. That would be useful way earlier in the game. Okay, well I'm wearing my disguise, so they should be okay with me, but I'm gonna have to leave my companions outside. Uh wait here. I'll just stay here. Ah the vices on That's gonna be annoying though. I'm gonna have to do the Mentats trick again. Do I have enough Mentats? I do. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully we don't get addicted. Um, wait here. These look like What's up? You got that on Wait here. Well, uh... You're pretty near the end, just rush it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just get it over with. Is the door locked again? No. Right. Yeah, so my guess is that the FOB is going to be in this room somewhere. So, let's get to it. A winner is you. Hopefully it will be. Oh, when we're here, do I have the neural computer for the dog? Ah, I don't. I must have put it in the car. Ah, well. Kind of maybe got the cyber dog. He's like just chilling by here. Too bad. Right. What's your business here? Uh, hi, I'm new. 
You must be lost then. This is the base commander's office. Nobody's allowed here unless the old man sends for you. Nobody sees him. Nobody. Well, just a cleaning crew. They usually come by here in an hour or so. Other than that, this place is off limits. Now you better head on. Cool. So I've got to disguise myself as the cleaning crew, I guess. I don't know what they wear. Um, probably not a vault suit. But he said an hour. So let's just see what happens if I wait an hour. And I say, yo, I'm the cleaning crew. I'm here to clean the commander's office. Yeah, right. I tell you the cleaning crew's coming and then you magically just become one of them. You haven't even left my sight. Think of, oh. Fucking game's too smart for me. <laughs> See, in a Bethesda game, that would have worked. <laughs> um, <laughs> rest for 10 minutes. Hey, hey, I'm the cleaning crew. We all wear power armor. What's up? I'm here to clean. Uh, Commander, cleaning detail is here, sir. Yes, sir. Looking at you. Go on in. Well, you didn't question the power armor. What's up, buddy? Um, not really interested in, in, in talking to you. Just kind of give me the FOB, you know? So I'm going to go clean your office and hope it's in here. Nope. Oh, when you were talking earlier about the Enclave base, did you mean the Varro um, Terranium? Because in which case, I would assume you can, because the generator's here. Now, it's defended, but it looks like between that generator and this one... No, maybe you could just blow up the generators. I guess, you know, you can assume that blows up the base, but I'm not sure if it actually counts as um the base actually blowing up. In Fallout, the plumber shows up in power armor and rips the toilet from the wall and throws it out the window. <laughs> ah, so it's not in his room. Let's check this computer. No. Let's see if I use science on it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it must be in these areas. So hopefully he just doesn't mind me going through them. That looks like it. Tanker fob. Nice. Okay, all cleaned up, Commander. Right. I got curious because the military bases actually make perfect sense for a self-destruct in real life. They keep tons of explosives or fuel to burn the bases down so the uh, the enemy don't get to them. Yeah, it makes sense that they could blow up the oil rig, but um, I'm not sure if you can blow up Navarro. I'm not in a position to try it, because I'm pretty sure me and my companions would have a hard time. Alright, we're nearly done. Sulex pretty much confirmed to die on the oil rig, because <laughs> he's not got power armor, but um, it's still, it'd still be worth getting him, so let's get everyone going. Let's go. You want me back now? Mm-hmm. Let's head out. Yep. Let's go. All right then. And uh, let's take some druggies. What you be?
Sorry, everyone, I pressed mute on the mic. Uh, let me turn that hockey off. I had it set up for a um, podcast that I was on. That still isn't live, but it should go live at some point. It's an exciting one. I, I, I don't think I can reveal more because I'm pretty sure he's not announced it on his, on his channel yet. But I guess you'll see it when it goes live. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Juno is sick, <laughs> sick of us. No, <laughs> sorry, guys. So what I was there, I was lamenting how I still can't fix this bloody computer. And I don't know why. Is it just that I've got to use the repair skill on it? No. I'm really stumped. I've tried using... No. Poseidon net computer. At least he's having fun. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, man. What am I doing wrong? I'm guessing this isn't the navigation computer, because no matter how many times I click on this bloody this computer part, it's not doing anything. It's clearly the right part, navcom parts. The fact that they say Poseidon Oil and navigation computer on it lead them you to believe that they'll fit into the Poseidon Oil navigation computer. I've been working doing this whole stream, so not super active. Uh, install the fob, then access na navigation first. But when I tried to install the fob, it said, like, nothing happens. See? This does nothing. If I say check status, there's nothing to do with the fob. Go. Doesn't do anything. Downstairs. All right. Is it one of those computers that aren't named? So, let's look around. The only computers I can see are here. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was looking at the middle one, but it's actually the far right one. <laughs> Silly me. I guess that that's the problem with this game being made in such a, a fast amount of time, is that they just didn't have time to have separate sprites. They need to, like, I feel like they should have had that a bit flag posted a bit better. I mean, it does have a screen on. But that wasn't enough for me. Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh, yeah. How do I get in there? What's the door? Um... Retinal scanner. Oh, we have to go from the cargo hold. Right, okay. So let's go down into the cargo hold. And then... This, that must be the ladder there. Oh. Okay, there you go. I've worked it out. <laughs> use the fob here. Like how it literally says, a sign reads, use tanker fob here. <laughs> literally signposted. Oh. Okay, I've got to actually use the uh, item on it. No, maybe not. Oh, there you go. Uh, up we go. Retinals. What's the retinal scanner for? Retinal scanner. Doesn't do anything. Require an application computer. Sure thing. Yay, finally. Online. Now we leveled up. That's still no perk point. Uh, we must have enough 
si uh, speech now to get the Enclave team. So hopefully we can get our science up to 100, which I think is enough to get the turrets to turn on the Frank Horrigan. So we're pretty much ready to go. All those points I wasted in gambling and I literally never used them. Shame. All right. No, oh, we still got to go through the cargo hold again. My first run, I thought the game was bugged out. Yeah, same. That was really not well signpost at all. All they needed to do was have the captain actually bloody direct you and just be like, yeah, you need to go through the cargo hold. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything to that effect. Alright, how much time we got left? 45 minutes? I think we got this in the bag. Let's go. Okay, hopefully we don't crash. They get a cutscene as well. Go. Warning, submarine still active. Ah, proceeding with assault in the ship's destruction. Bugger! So do I just have to format the computer? What's the... How do I stop the sub? How do you get it to go? What oil rig? How do you know all this? He does say something about the sub. Hmm. Look at this crew. Look at all the people who won't make it. <laughs> yep. Pretty much, Sulek's not going to make it. Marcus might die. The one who has the best chance is Cassidy. And that's only because of the power armor. Right. Um, hmm. I don't know if the Herbologists are able to help us here. The She, I've talked to everyone of note. And none of them can disable the She submarine. What I think we should do maybe instead is talk to... There's a hacker on this boat who might be able to hack into the Emperor. Because the only thing I can think to do is to format the Emperor's hard drive. But the She would probably know I've done that. And I don't want to get into combat here. I have some questions. I'd like you to hack into a computer. Hack into the She. Yeah, I need what they have. Sure, you want me to go after them? <sighs> well, they hate me regardless. Shit might hit the fan. I like the only option I had was never mind. <laughs> I can't even say yes, do it anyway. Can I do it myself? No. Okay, well, that led nowhere. I guess we have to go see if the Emperor can do it, but I think we've already exhausted all the options he had. And talking to everyone else there really did not help. Starting a party on the oil rig? <laughs> did it once and it was quite a challenge. Yeah, we're gonna... Gonna have a fun time. I mean, we're, we're, I'm going for the, the easiest... The easiest kind of route. Which is activating the turrets and getting the Enclave little patrols, uh, little army squads to help me out. So we sh Hogan shouldn't be too bad. Judah, do you have the navcom from Vault 13? Uh, well, yeah, we've just, I've put that into the, into the, into the ore rig. So that's all set up, but they're still worried about the, the she submarine. So it won't go until I've still dealt with that. And I don't really know how to deal with that because the she are friendly to me. So I would have assumed they won't attack the, the oil rig knowing that. I've already talked to everyone in here, and none of them really say anything about the submarine. Um, yeah, like I literally can't even mention the submarine to these people. The Emperor does have the law on it, which we read earlier. So we log in. Diagnostics. 
network, no, biology, chemistry, physics, none of those are interesting to us. Database, nope. Forecasting, no. So the only thing I can think is to... Format the drive. Submarine status. So see, it still says it's operational. Stationary defensive structure sounds interesting. Oh, let's see if I can find something. Okay. So the Poseidon Marine vessel, Voltez, arrives, okay, June. Following consults with the Emperor, Shang Li dictates that the Shi Huang T be reactivated and transformed into a defensive installation against a further naval threats. Submarine is reactivated, emergency power has to be provided. The emergency generator dies. Ken Lee orders an electro box, gen an electro box generator to be wired into the power system to keep power in the submarine. A Neptune wave skimmer motorboat is restored and transferred to the submarine maintenance crew. Yeah, let's see you more this maintenance crew. Bingo, after a few minutes of filling with the commands, you manage to pull up a small text file concerning the generator of the submarine. It seems that the regular trips are needed to refuel and maintain the generator. The file also insists the current maintenance crew roster. Submarine maintenance crew 2241 onwards. Uh, Strang Tao, Huang Kui, Xin Fei, Lo Chung, and Wu Fei. Add myself to the maintenance roster. A few quick keystrokes, you become part of the submarine maintenance crew. A list of passwords for the motorboat guard is now accessible. Download passport list to the pit boy. You plug the pit boy into the access, access parts. After a moment, you have an up to date list of passwords for the next year. Talk about security. <laughs> yeah. So now that I have that, I need to find the. Where does that maintenance crew launch from? Is that this computer over here? That the guy said he'll kill me if I hack into it. Let's go see. It's pretty easy to tell his voice is Michael Dawn. What shocked me was that the primary voice for the master also did Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I knew about uh, Frank Horrigan being Michael Dawn, but I didn't know... Yeah, I was also not aware that the master was Winnie the Pooh. Is it this computer that we just got the access? Activate station. Station deactivated. Activate station. Greeted. Please enjoy the password. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's not it. That's the chemistry workstation. Hmm. Computer... Just a bunch of random computers. Nope. Hmm. All right, so nothing more here from the looks of it. Give the very big plans to one of the scientists at the entrance. Can you? These guys did not seem interested. And I might have already given it to them is the thing. Uh, who are you? What questions? What do you do here? What are you planning? Fine. Yeah, he's not interested at all. So, no, no idea. You must have exceptional eyesight. I can't stand playing Fallout 1 in anything higher than 720p. Uh, yeah, this is honestly as high as I would go. I think this is 1080. Oh, I don't think I can... No, I can't see it in-game, can I? Um, but yeah, this is, I, I still like, I still cringe at YouTubers who play in like 1440p and above. I've seen, uh, one guy do like 4k footage and it's literally his sprite is like tiny. 
Uh, this is as high as I go. I will say, um, I, I struggled to get Fallout 2 to run at the resolution I wanted. In Fallout 1, I do play, I think, 900p, a little bit closer, but I couldn't get Fallout 2 to run in that resolution for some reason. But it's not too bad. He's in the room with free sci with the free scientist room. I think I've given him the plans. I think that's the reason why. Because I've talked to all those scientists and we're not getting anywhere with that. And I know I've only got 35 minutes left. Oh my god, that time went so fast. Okay, I've got 35 minutes left to uh, <laughs> try and finish the game. Okay, hopefully the computer that we've just gone at password 2 is in here somewhere. Ah, yes. Never mind. Oh, God. What? How do I deactivate this damn submarine? It's like I refuse to use a guide, but I'm really struggling. I have the passwords on my pit boy, or so said the game. But it's still not disabled. I need to find where the maintenance crew launches from, and I would assume they would have launched off the dock. Nope, oh, that's empty. I feel I can really feel how rushed the game was in the, like, these last sessions. Honestly, like this, my time in San Francisco has been nothing but frustrating. It feels like nothing is well explained to the player at all. Like we're a part of the maintenance crew, and that's great. But where are the bloody maintenance crew? <laughs> where do I go? <laughs> no information whatsoever. Samfan was also accidentally made too big. Oh yeah, it's huge. Just running back and forth between these two places. Like the maintenance crew wouldn't be launching from the herbologist, so that wouldn't make sense. Are they around here? In the town? That would be weird as well. Well, I assume it must still back be back in the she base, but I feel like I've activated everything here. It's actually a big difference between Fallout 1 and 2. Fallout 1 was pretty much all made by a single core team, but Fallout 2 had two a smaller two to three person groups build in each area. Less consistent. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that. It feels like some areas are super tight and I understand what's going on. And then this one, absolutely, just completely falling apart. Yeah, I'm going to assume I've already given the guy who wants the very good plans the 30 bit plans because there's no one here who wants to talk to me. I'm sitting in the room with the free scientists. Must be that room. It's the only room with free scientists in it. We're literally at the point where I'm just have to activate every computer and hope that one of them's special. Oh, you kid. Oh, no. This is going to just be the. um. Like a physics password. No. Yeah. I, must, I did manage to guess it somehow. But, um... This is irrelevant because we've already directed the fuel. So, don't need that. Activate station. No, this is just... These are all the physics computers, aren't they? Or the chemistry computers, sorry. They're directing the fuel. No, I don't need the guesser password anyway. Because I've got the password, so these aren't the right computers. No. Check your quests. It just says deactivate. That's all it's saying. It's just disable the she submarine. We're a part of the maintenance crew. So I assume I have to find... And it's given me a list of passwords. I assume I have to find the computer for the maintenance crew. And do something from there. But I don't know where this maintenance crew is housed. 
I would have thought it'd be down the dock. But the only computer there doesn't do anything. I can go back to the Emperor again and check what he said. So we go into Diagnostics, Network Scan. No, it wasn't here, it was in History, wasn't it? Database, History, Submarine Status, Stationary Defense. Yeah, gives it that. So a Neptune Wave Skimmer motorboat is restored and transferred to the submarine maintenance crew. And then I had a bunch of options here that I could go through and be log myself on as a maintenance crew. But so I don't need, where is this crew manned? That's just all the lore that we've already read. Com links. No connection to external servers can be made. Yeah. Really stumped. Man, I, I know the system didn't work really well, but I really wish we could have that button back from Fallout 1. I could just ask someone, maintenance crew, and see if I could get somewhere. Get out of my way, Marcus. Oh, man. Well, there's the third piece of the torn paper. Not that we need it. Right, I'm gonna have to just have to check all these computers as well. No. The push NPC button is the best addition. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so this is just another station. Yeah, we don't need this. It's just uh. Law and stuff. That's the best thing about um, the Fallout Two or the yeah the Fallout One and Two mod is that it gives that system. You mean the buddy follower button, pretty much. <laughs> they never react very well. So these are all just the same computer. None of these are the maintenance crew computer from the looks of it. They're all the biology computers. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. Really struggling here. Being everywhere on the map. It would make no sense that the hobologists would have anything to do with this, would they? Like, why would the maintenance crew be there? But that's the only area I've not checked. I saw an early alpha version of Fallout which had 14 different aimed shot locations. That is wild. Wow. That I mean, I, I can see why it was cut because I was going to say that sounds too much, but it is too much. <laughs> what is it like? <laughs> like left hand? Like is it hand, forearm, upper arm? Foot, knee? Look out for low pan. Anyone direct me to where this maintenance crew might be. When you install the nav, you should just be able to go. It's it doesn't it's not letting me. I can go back and see, but unless those passwords can somehow help me. But the last time we tried, it said the submarine's still active and it won't let me go. This might be part of the restoration patch, is the thing. But I would assume the restoration patch has been around for so long that it wouldn't have like a crippling bug right at the end. You'd hope not anyway. That would be frustrating. I know you can hack into things. Um, 
hack into a computer. The she, yeah, knew what they have. And then, yeah, it won't even go anywhere. It just says, never mind. Well, if this doesn't work, maybe the game is actually just broken. Because of the patch, I guess. Go. Yeah, warning, submarine still active. Proceeding with result in ship's destruction. Back. And that's all we have. Nothing you can do. Really stumped. And no one really... Yeah, everyone just says all the same stuff. Are they part of the restoration patch? Yeah, there's an adjacent mod that adds them. Uh, there's a mod list in the description of the video if you're interested. Upper and lower arm actuated gyro sensors. Way wrong game, yeah. Pee on it. Oh, I wish I could, honestly. I'm at that point. I'm at the point where like, I just want to bash the computer and see if it, something will happen. Um, hmm. See what he has to say again. He does have a line about the submarine. You know all about the ship. Yeah, that ain't going to help you against that old Chinese sub. So your best bet... Is that that thing is dead as she looks. Best hope that thing is as dead as she looks. Yeah, and I know it's not. And I'm trying to figure out how to stop this. Um, Bugger. I really just don't know. Well, it looks like we're not finishing in this episode. Because we are completely just stuck in a loop at this moment. And it might not even be Fallout 2's fault. It might just be the restoration patch is broken. Which... You wouldn't have thought, because I've seen quite a lot of positive remarks about this patch. Did it? And maybe it's the case that no one's actually finished finished the game while playing it. What's the name of the quest? Um, it just says disable the she submarine threatening the tanker. And that's all I have to go off. Do you still have the vertebrate plans? Yeah, I do. Because no one in the she place wants to take them. So I think the game might just be broken, which is quite annoying. Um, don't really know how we could fix that. Is the Brotherhood guy still there? No. set variable. I could try to using the console command. Try giving it to the main guy. There's no option on the main guy. I think it's fully balked. Yeah, what is this place? The Emperor's a computer. This leads me to that. The research. I will, and I have more questions. I have more questions. And we need the fuel. I already have the fuel. Looking for my lost villages. I have more questions. Yeah, there's nothing there. Have you ever come across a part in a video where you just can't keep your composure even in writing because of how ridiculous the thing is you're working on? Um, not yet. Generally, luckily, the games I've reviewed don't anger me so much that I've got to that point. But I'm sure it'll come someday. I mean, I say go for it. People, people like passion in videos. So I say... Write it down. No, I think the game is actually soft locked here. Um, how do you actually? Is there a way to set console commands on Fallout 2, or do I have to go into the ini file? Like, I've, I think I can edit the save file, maybe. Maybe. 
No, I mean in a funny way, when you just can't stop laughing, which actually impedes your progress. Oh yeah, I've definitely had that. Tilda, right? Ah, okay. That's just opening up the, uh, that's just showing the date for me. Oops. And the world map. I didn't know we could just go to the world map from any, can we just go to the world map from anywhere? Is that because I activated, like, I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> didn't the she want you to kill one of the herbologists, their leader? If it did, it hasn't logged it in my quest log. I haven't got anything like that. I can try and kill a... I can try and go kill the herbologists. We're pretty much just throwing anything at the wall now and just see what happens. <laughs> try my link, jeweler. It's a way back of the mods page and tells you what to do for the restoration project. Uh, I think your comment might have got removed. Um... Because, yeah, I don't think the YouTube comments will allow links in it, sorry. But I don't want to use a guide, that's the thing. But in this situation, I'm not sure if this is the actual game's fault. In which case, maybe it's a different situation. Oh my god, this is a big dungeon. Hey, what if I say I want to join? It's, uh... Oh, that's a long quest. Show all the new recruits and the raw meat just how rewarding it is to be a homologist. It is the mod's fault. Oh, that's annoying. Well, in that case, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll look at your... I'll look at the link. Because I can't blame this on the game. That's really frustrating. I would have thought using a mod that is so highly praised <laughs> wouldn't have led to such a problem. But here we are. Live and learn. General. So what have we got here? Submarine. Once you got the password from the Emperor or Lao Chao, uh, you can talk to the boat god and go to the sub as a technician. Right, so where's this boat god? Uh, together with the maintenance crew. If you instead convince the boat god to let you go without a passport, uh, password, you'll be going alone. Sub is empty. If you kill the boat god and steal the boat, your NPCs will come with you. It's the only time you do. Myron and Vic can be useful to bring. When you get there, alone with your NPCs, uh, the hatch will be locked. Ah, damn, this is a whole other quest line, huh? Looks like we're not finished with follow-up too, because I did not think it would add this much stuff to the game. Damn. Okay. Control F submarine. Yeah, luckily it opened up on the um on the right area. So I guess that's it. And all these uh Dr. Chen quests have straight up not worked. Yeah, it seems like this part of the quest might be um this part of the mod might not be well implemented because none of the i've talked to everyone in the she and none of those quests have activated either all right well we need to find the boat god who i guess is a, i assume is on the dock <laughs> try and kill their leader and talk to ken again I can try that, but I think, based on that link I just read, we have all we need to go to the submarine. Unless, is that a situation where he'll just not make the submarine not fire on us, you think? Hang on, let me read, let me read that again. This is annoying. We've actually had to break the rules of the entire thing. Um... Yeah, submarine. 
There's a whole new step now that adds that needs to be done before you can set up the Taika, the old Rex submarine. Uh, log of the computer, check the history, find out the maintenance crew. To get him to talk about the submarine. So that's, yeah, it looks like we still have to do the actually going onto the submarine bit. Okay. So where's the boat guard? Boat guard at the docks. Ah, oh, we could have just done it with speech. Oh well. I couldn't even find the boat guard, so... Ah, <laughs> oh, looks like we're not finishing it this episode. God damn it! <laughs> this game never ends. <laughs> well, in hindsight, I'm not going to play with the restoration patch next time. Because... Yeah, not as well implemented as I would have thought. I feel... if it, Ironically, the restoration patch seems to go through the same problem as the game. Where it... Yeah, the, the last area seems to be the weakest. Right, so who's the boat guard then? She peasant, she peasant, she peasant. She peasant. No, you guys. Is there a boat actually around here? Dirty El Kempt. See a dock worker. Ah, okay, here we go. There. Oh, this is the boat. I uh, was this in the original game because it does look a little bit different. Not that the sprite work is bad, but it it isn't sitting as normal in the scene as the other things. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was there originally. Okay. I need to use the motorboat. Actually, I'm an honorary member of the Shi. I was hired for the submarine maintenance team. Uh, I guess you all really are a technician. Hmm. The she must be getting desperate to hire outsiders. Anyway, uh, you're early. Didn't they tell you that? The tech team doesn't leave part until midnight. You can wait for the rest of the team here if you wish. Uh, I don't really have anything to do. Oh, Mr. Ann Derpson, thank you for the $10. Does examining some of these games so deeply diminish or enhance the enjoyment? Ha uh, have there been times where the game became a chore? I imagine it's like being a chef avoiding the kitchen at home. Yeah, there are definitely times where... You don't want to play the games you have to analyze. Um, I will say that it goes through an ebb and flow where there are points where it becomes more exciting to play the game, especially when I'm doing my research. It becomes more exciting to play the game because I'm learning so much more about it that I didn't know originally. And then I want to play the game to actually like test that stuff. If you find out about a quest, you didn't know what that kind of stuff, you know, you want to play it to actually play that yourself. But there is a point where I would say when you're deep into writing, and at this point you've probably played the game, you know, 20, 30, 50 hours, however much you needed to play it to get all the footage and to kind of see everything you wanted to see. After you've done that, um, and you're just testing stuff for the analysis, that's points where I just don't want to boot up the game. Like, I'm just not that, like, I know I, at that point that's work, right? When you're booting up the game to get footage to show uh, how pistols do you know, 10 more damage than a rifle when you have this many stats or that kind of stuff. Or when you're testing that kind of stuff. Yeah, but it, it you know, it it goes through its ebbs and flows during the production of a video. And I will say once I'm finished with a video, I generally won't touch the game for a while because I'm such a, like a momentary expert on that title <laughs> that I feel like I know everything there is to know. But I have no qualms going back to it. So like with Daggerfall, for example, I didn't play Daggerfall for like maybe a month or two after I finished the retrospective, but then I went back to playing it just fine. And I'm sure it'll be the same with the Fallout games. Obviously with the ones I like, I definitely won't be touching Brotherhood of Steel again, ever, ever again after doing the analysis. And I guess that's the problem with if you're analyzing a bad game. Like, Pissed was funny to analyze. And luckily that was more of a retrospective, so I didn't have to play it too much. So I didn't really dread opening that one, but like Brotherhood of Steel, I know I'm going to dread replaying that. But it, yeah, the fun comes and goes. Metal Locker. Yeah, this is, this definitely feels like a modded content compared to the rest of the game. Hey, I'm busy. The one's completely rusted shut. But thank you for the $10. I really appreciate it. Good question. Chinese Army Special Ops Manual. Yeah, that's not in the original game, is it? 
What's this? A sneak book? Does nothing. Can't understand the text. The I think from the text out yet because it's not in. <laughs> but the illustrations are quite informative. But I can't read it. Yeah. I guess it's just a a reference to the later games because that's how you get sneak, isn't it? In Fallout Three. No. Hello. Okay, it looks like we've got some speech or intelligence checks here that we've probably passed. What do you want? Uh, can't you see that I'm trying to reconfigure the targeting system? Actually, that's what I'm here for. I've got new specifications for those systems checked by the Emperor. Uh, personally, can you input them? You seem to be the most knowledgeable about the subsystem. Okay, that might be the intelligence check. That's why I'm here. I can't help you with configuring the systems. It seems the connection between the marine navigation system and the IFS transponder finally died. So you have to do a workaround. Mind if I help? Okay, this is the intelligence check, and that's the speech check. Uh, my speech is pretty good. Oh, I've been wanted for these uh, new specifications for ages. You should have been here weeks ago, though, when I was working on what uh, left of the battle database. Uh, now I have to bust it open again. Oh, well, life of attack, I guess. Have fun. Okay, you trick the technician into disabling the submarine. Well, that was easy. You gotta have balls to play BOS, well that's for sure. Damn text blocks, yeah. I, I You can always tell like what a uh, a speech or like intelligence check is in uh, in, for, in the early fallouts because it's always the longest one by so much. Uh, yeah, it's the longest one by so much. I'll see myself out. It was a good pun. All right, let's get out of here. Power armor is posh. Yeah, no one's questioning the fact that I've got advanced power armor. I could understand maybe someone having the the T fifty. It's T fifty one, isn't it? Like that, the cast, the power armor Cassidy's got. But only the Enclave has this stuff. We've got eight minutes. Oh, it's not happening. We're going to get to the rig. But damn, that's so annoying. We spent like 30 minutes <laughs> stuck because of the mod. And the mod's essentially requiring you to read its guide. To know what to do. That's a shame. Right. We're back here. Now we can go. What do you mean? Everyone has XO1 in Fallout. Oh, for sure, yeah. No one even questions it. Yes, we're going to get the cutscene. Look at those sexy pre-rendered graphics. At least you almost got to the final section. Yeah. Prep the dog a little bit. The Enclave must have been super confused when this thing turns up. Isn't the tanker home to hundreds of people too? Oh yeah, it is, yeah. I assume they're all coming with us as well. Did we just kidnap everyone? I've not questioned that, but yeah, we just bring in that entire community with us. It's like it's, an, it's like taking all of Rivet City and just being like, oh, you're coming with me now.
welcome to the Enclave. Alright. I can't read anything of what my companions are saying because they're all saying that at the same time. Um. Oh, they've got the faces. The old Art Deco faces. Well, it's more gothic, isn't it? But yeah, okay. Up here, I guess? Oh no, through here. I didn't realize you started by going through where you meet Frank Oregon. Do I need to... Should I activate these turrets now? Or later? I've never been here before. Um, log on. Smith J. Security status. Download failed. Security system file missing. Hmm. Presidential pass key security override. Counterinsurgency. Emergency defensive system shut down. Emergency system sets to shut down. Temporarily shuts down active security systems on a level by level basis. Shutdown starts deep diagnostic procedure before initiating auto reboot of security systems. Yeah, activate the shutdown. Not oh, recognized. Access denied. Okay, I need to go find it then. I can fuel the scanner into thinking I have the key by hacking into the access file. I'll try. Reinitialize the scanner. I wonder if I just failed to check or if that's just something you can't do. I'll try it another couple times. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I just did something worse. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> Oh, no, we didn't save either. Well, fuck. I just did something terrible. Shit. Up oh, and... <laughs> I had a terrible day. I thought I was on the save screen, but I was on the load screen. Well, we could skip the cutscene, luckily. I think. <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> it's just not going well. Okay. All right, well, if it is a check... I failed it, so let's not do that. I think you have to hack the turrets during the fight. I don't think you can preemptively hack them, because we haven't got the presidential pass key, and clearly you can fail the check pretty terribly. So... The trial period for Poseidon that access is 59,439 <laughs> days overdue. That's pretty bad. I've done that exact mistake, but for me it cost almost three hours of progress. Oh, damn. Yeah, actually I need to save again, don't I? And that's that save game. I'm sure I'm on the right one. Save game. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. What is... I had no idea this is... Is this... This might be the restoration patch again. I thought this was the end of the... The Enclave Dungeon. I didn't realize you entered through here. Well. Yeah, there's also a way to go through this without getting in the combat. So, I'm going to assume this is... Is it because I need to su shut down the um, base? I've seen speedruns where people got to this place and they weren't in combat, so I must have done something wrong. Oh no, I, like, I need to actually load a save because you can't even get out the way. Maybe it's because I went the wrong way. Maybe if I go through here. Oh, I thought you were dipping out. Never mind, I'm in and out of windows while at work, so I misinterpret things. Oh, that's okay. Shit. Right, okay, so we do have to deactivate the Enclave, uh, the uh, the security system. You leave your companions here, and you're in... Oh, that makes sense. Ah, so I'm going to leave them then in this room. Well, I'll leave them here. I don't want the Enclave patrol to attack them. 
Come on, folks. What's up? You got that I'm pulling rank look again. Uh, yeah, we sure. Well, all right then. I'll wait here. Nah, you look like you got enough of. Okay. So look. Come out here, boys. What you be needing me? This look like a good place to sit. Sit. And come on, Marcus. What do you want? Wait here. I'll just. Oh no. You want me back now? No, I don't. What do you want? Ah, oh, time's up. I'll just stay. That's it. All right. Rig. So. Well, we managed to do it. I really thought we were going to finish it, but I got sidelined because I, yeah. Everything I knew about Fallout 2 was of the original base game, not of the <laughs> of the restoration patch. I added a whole section, which is why we got completely confused then. Oil rig. And now it's time for tactics. Let's get to it. I joined for a short time in the beginning, but had to leave for work. Uh, what games did I miss so far? We played Fallout 4, and just we just finished some Fallout 2. And now, uh, let's go over to the picking game. Which one do you think it's going to be? No one knows? It's going to say, it's going to say, like, Fallout 3 or something. Tactics, there you go. Finally, let's get into it. Start the timer, move on over, play. Thought you were going to finish the game, but the truth is that the game, that the game was oil rigged from the start. <laughs> That's a bad one. But it was. It was completely oil rigged. Alright. Pick up where we left off. Kill Gamorin. Now, annoyingly, this was going to be a very good plot twist. But, because I'd never seen any Fallout Tactics lore, and then somehow, last week, um, I was reading, I think, like a Reddit post, and I got spoiled, so I know what Gamoran is. Which is a shame, because I think that would have been a really good plot twist, because I had no idea that Gamoran was going to be something that I had no idea, that I wasn't, um, fucking hell. I forgot that, right? Yep, this game controls very differently from the other games. Yeah, I was going to get, um, surprised, but I'm not going to anymore, because I know what he is. I assume that must be him. Can I just, see? Can I just blow this up? Oh, fuck. Blow up the gas tank! There you go. God damn it, Dillion! <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you so slow, man? <laughs> right, okay. We're going to have to use a uh, turn base there. Explain. <laughs> Game, explain how he saw me through the wall. Well, shit. That's not ideal. Um, hmm. Just gonna save scum that again. Okay, so he's still in stealth. Why is his sneak skill zero? Actually, why are your skills so terrible in general, Dillion? Oh, it's because you're just a combat guy. Yeah, never mind. Oh, it's because you're yeah, your sneak's terrible because you're a glowing one. That would make sense. Um, why is he actually down here and not anyone else? I oh, did we send uh, we sent Dillion down because I wasn't sure if it was going to be radioactive down there or not. Well, we've concluded that it's not, so I think we're ready to bring the squad. But do I bring the squad down through this entrance, maybe? There's one guy hiding here as well. Hmm. That's the question, actually. Well, there's actually no point of him really ducking here. Oh, I'm going to oh, enter. Okay. Right. So a sniper shot needs four AP, so he can move three spaces back. One, 
two, three. Ah! <laughs> oh man, we're not having any... <laughs> This game's hating me right now. Got you as a glowing one again, yeah. Okay, one step. Nice. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not going well. That's a pretty volatile explosion. That's for sure. Uh, do we have a grenade? No. Okay. All right, we're going to bring the squad down. And we've got some levels up to do. All right, I've got a lot of things to do. Uh, I'll be right back. So I'm going to take a quick break. Alrighty, let's go. Am I going? Yep, cool. Alright, leveling up. Ah, yes, we got perks, finally. Ooh, Action Boy would probably be a good shout. Ooh, there's quite a lot as well in this game. Chain plus three to your strength for the purposes of a weapon. Um, I'm just sniping. Now, some weapon, sniper, rif sniper rifles will require a strength of six, but I don't think this one does. Crawl like a baby. Toughness, that's always a good shout. I wish I could see what my current damage resistance was. Hmm. Mutate. Do I need another trait? I could switch finesse into skilled, but I don't think that'll help me. More criticals. I've already got better criticals. Um, it's too early to unlock sniper, isn't it? Also, is my perception good enough? I. F is a perception of seven or eight? Do you need for sniper? I can't remember. You have a talent for hitting targets at longer distances for each level of this perk. You get plus two bonus points for perception for the purposes of determin determining range modifiers. That's kind of helpful, but I think maybe for Dylan rather than myself. I think it's going to be Action Boy, honestly. Yeah. Well, level up on Stoma. You need anything to help you with big guns. Quick recovery. Quick pockets. Man, there's so much... There really is so many perks. Oh, Heave Ho would have been probably good for throwing, actually, on my guy. But uh, Action Boy, I think, is more important. Um, Perception could maybe help him. With his accuracy. Create a chance to find the special places and people. Ah. I can't... I can never determine... Are some of these perks squad associated or just per person? Like, will that help me? Because I assume when we travel as a squad, I could possibly help. Although his luck is so low that it's, he's probably not going to be the best person for it anyway. But I do want to get that because we've not come across any luck, um, luck things at the moment. Bracing. Okay, you have learned how to brace a large weapon against your stand-in. Uh, while standing, you will receive plus two strength for the purpose of firing large guns. Is that relevant? He's already strength eight. Very thick skull. Chance of getting knocked unconscious. I 
if I get him Action Boy, he could fire two bursts. So I think, again, being boring, but it's going to be Action Boy again. Each level of Action Boy gives you an additional AP. One, two, three, four. I didn't get the additional AP. Oh no, it's just not visible on the on the HUD, but it's still eight. Okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Nice. Well, I got scammed then. All right, big guns. And yeah, energy. Krill drivers are radiated. Yeah, we just don't have any. We just don't have a rad right away for him, poor guy. No, no right of ways. Hmm. Fastest gun in the west of the UK. <laughs> Still got it. You need perception 8 for sniper. Ah, okay. Well, the next perk then, I'm going to take gain perception. And then we'll be able to get sniper. Same for Dylan. Oh, <laughs> no, Dylan ain't got that problem. <laughs> Dylan is sorted. <laughs> wow. I, for I forgot that's why he's our uh, main sniper. All right. Why has he got one perk left? Because he can't use it anywhere. There you go. Hmm. Right, okay. We're ready to move out, I think. Let's send a squad of us three down the main entrance. Down through here. Save before we do it, because I don't know if there's anything there. Okay. Seems safe. Is everyone there? No, nope, I'm not. And then let's send Mother and Krill Draft down to help Dylan. The interview you had with the Daggerfall dev was Taya? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think it went pretty well. And I've just seen, uh, they just got funded as well. They've hit their first level of funding, so that's good. Pretty excited about that. Uh, come on, Quill Draft, you got to come down as well. Right. Okay, so there's... Oh, the, the map is completely glitched at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. You got one guy there, one guy there. It is a bit awkward that these gas tanks are perfectly primed to shoot. But if I try and shoot them, it kills me. That's quite annoying. So... Let's send these guys this way. Probably going to be some guys in here, I'd assume. Oop. Uh, Stoma, are you going first? Yeah, you two going first. Scout it out. No, okay. Got a bookshelf we can loot up here. Stop here. Oh, can I see anything? No. It is quite, um, quite empty here. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Right, so we are... That's... Might be... It, I'm just going to say, I've been spoiled. It doesn't look like Gamoran. Because <laughs> Gamoran's not who I thought he was going to be. Ah, that, that, yeah. That would be him. Okay, let's see if I can get a shot on these snipers. Ah, sneak's still not good enough. Can I? Yes, okay. So, is that music just not on? It's... Yeah, there's no music at the moment. Oh, there you go. It just didn't want to turn on. Okay. It's going to turn base mode. Fingers crossed this doesn't kill me. Oof, it did hit me though. But, um, end combat? Yep. No one heard it. Perfect stealth. Uh, 
Um, stitch, heal me up. Just use your tactics, bro. <laughs> I wish, man. The tactics in this game are, are completely jank. Like, every idea I've ever had does not work. Ah, cool. Uh, Stoma, come. Get yourself some more bullets. And free gun, I guess. Um, Stitch, if you come over here. Got some meds for you. And picked up something else, I think. Yep, field med kit. I suppose we'll give the 50 cows over to Stoma as well. Okay, nothing we can loot. Alright, well, we've reconvened. So, this guy, a bit of an awkward one. I think I'm going to have to throw a little nade. See if I can hit them. So, we're going to lie down. I'm going to sneak. Can I sneak when lying down? Can I sneak when kneeling? Nope. Hmm. Okay, save. Well, that didn't go well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get behind those boxes. Oh! Oh, no, we can't get into that room. Yeah. Uh... Right, backup plan. Stitch. With your shotgun. On burst fire. With your backup shotgun. Oh, and get this one there. Backup shotgun here. Also on burst fire. I'm going to bring you up. Here. I'm going to bring Dylan. And myself here. So can we snipe him? Yes. I can get a shot. Dylan, can you get a shot? How is my shot better than yours? Oh, wrong gun. Okay, we've both got shots. We can't take aimed... Toggle targeted shot. Okay, we both can take aimed shots. Right, save. Snip. Okay. Everyone's AP full. Why can't you burst this? Cannot use. Why not? Oh, he's irradiated. But, ah, it's because everyone's bloody standing next to Dylan. God damn it. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to get it as well. <laughs> That's... This is just so annoying, man, with Dylan, bro. Ah, it's just nothing you can do about it. It's like he's so powerful, but he's a bloody liability because he just irradiates everyone around him. Ah, oh, shit. That's why I shouldn't have put anyone down with him. And I would... I'm sitting right next to him as well. Right, um... Everyone down here. You two, Stoma. Dylan, get the fuck away from us. Stand up, you pro... Get back here, man. Right, can you still see her down here? Ah, oh, he's got a shot. Oh, you're kidding me. Bugger. We're all irradiated. We're all bloody... Oh, no. <laughs> Dylan, I hate you, man. I love you, but I hate you. It's absolute liability. Why can't you get a shot, man? Come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, bless me. Sorry. Um, bro, oh god, useless man. Right, Dylan, you take a shot first. Nice. Cool. I'll take another shot. Head. And another one. Nice. This didn't kill him. I'm surprised. Okay. Stitch. You run here. 
blow this guy's head off. Or, you know, get shot in the process. Oh, you know. Don't. That's fine. Stoma. You need to run to the left, to the right here. Okay. First, this guy. Nice. Mother. You're essentially tanking, so... Run here. Yeah, see if... Oh, shit. Don't open that door. Krill Draft, you come down this way. Okay. Alright, end turn. Whoa, hello. Shit. Damn it. Yeah, I can't lose Stitch. That's annoying. Just can't lose him. It's too good. Right, gotta set up that again. Okay, let's get Mother and Krill Drive a bit closer. Would it be too much to ask to watch my side video on stream next week? It's going to be done on Monday. Um, yeah, sure. I'll watch it. As long as it's not too long, so we don't waste too much time. But um, yeah, I'm totally down. Should be fun. Have a little watch party going. Uh, is that a septic tank or a water tank? Tank? Would you survive the fallout? <laughs> I honestly... Yeah, I won't be able to tell the difference. Oh, okay. Um, they must have seen me. Yeah, enter turn base mode immediately. Nice. Head. Head again. That guy's tanky. In the current edit, it looks to be 15 minutes. Yeah, sure, we'll we'll put it on if we've got time. What is your what is our obsession with dungeon crawlers? Like we're all instinctively miners. <laughs> I yeah, I think we we yearn for the mines. Something about it. Ah, so hmm. It's Stitch, you run here. First, this guy severely wounded. Right. Not to save again. Stitch. Please let this work this time. Because if this guy gets a shot, you're dead. Okay. Right, that worked out. Okay, mother. Run down this way. Do not open that door. Yep. Just tank. Real drive, you're doing the same. Stitch moving a little bit more. Oof, Quill Draft is low. Damn. This guy taking a beating. Um, right, can I get some shots off around here? Yeah. Get this guy. Is there any way to get the information in... No, it doesn't look like it. I missed that information from Fallout 1 and 2, I realized. So I don't know how much damage I'm doing. I don't know what the details are or anything. It's Dylan, can you get a shot? No. What if I move you? Okay, you can get a shot on this guy. Okay, at least he's knocked out. Stitch. Got an AK, right? Yeah, get your AK out. Shoot this guy. Nice. And uh run down the Krill Draft because you might have to heal him soon. Stoma. A 95% chance, but I feel like you might hit Stitch. So run here. You have eight hit points on you. Yeah. A AP, I mean. Shoot that guy. 
Good shot. My mother. Yeah, you need to get onto this guy. This guy's so tanky. He's taking three sniper bullets to the head. Super tanky. Oh, nice. We got another sequence working out for us well there. Got another turn. Right, mother, can you kill this guy? How taggy is this guy? There you go. Right, so there's a guy over there that's knocked out. Stitch, can you get a shot? I can't even see him. Bugger, Quill Drive, you kind of scout ahead, see if you can uncover him. There he is. Okay, cool. Stitch. No, I don't think anyone can see him to get a shot. Reload. No. Um, Krill Drive, you haven't got enough to close the gap, neither does Mother. That's not great, because if he wakes up, he could kill Krill Drive now. You guys move up as close as you can. Let's just see him now. I can. Can you get a shot? No. Okay. Okay, Dylan. Yeah, you're not going to get a shot. Stand up, maybe? Come here. No, you do have a shot, but you haven't got the AP. In which case, if I come stand up and I come to here, yep, I can do it. Oh, I can take an aim shot, but not a general shot? Yeah. I guess I could have taken an aim shot at his foot or something. It's weird that I can't do a general shot, but uh, fingers crossed he doesn't wake up. Stitch, just run here and hopefully that he targets you. Oh, he didn't wake up. Okay. Well, in that case, Stitch, just finish him off. Oh, can't see him. Oh, he's right there. There you go. Oh, wow. Mother, can you kill him? No? Quill drop? Are you serious? How tanky is this guy? Well, Dylan, you stand over there, buddy, because he's bloody a ragey in us all. Don't want any of you being near me. Oh my god. Oh, finally! We did it! God damn. I can't believe everyone's irradiated. This couldn't have gone worse. Hopefully the doctor back at base can heal us up. Alright, well. Last one down. Well, last one to go. Um, Stitch. Gotta fix up Krill Draft. Judah can't be bothered with long videos. <laughs> Look, my, the longest video I can watch is four minutes, bro. <laughs> nah. <laughs> 50 minutes will be fine. <laughs> there are mines in dungeon crawlers. So, uh, you don't mine in dungeon crawlers, but I would honestly love one that had it in. Well, yeah, there are mines in them, but no, you're right. that like, You don't actually mine in them. Well, some of them have that mechanic, but um, yeah. I think there's just something about being underground that Intrigues humans. Don't know why. Well, have we got a new update? Oh, nice. I'm still be meaning to play that, but um, I mean mainly just for the ship to look at the ship builder because that's going to be really helpful for the StarCraft um, episode two of StarCraft when we look at ship building because of we on and like a lot of other games just blow it out the water. And that is actually still one of the best aspects of um, of StarCraft. Is it's uh, not StarCraft, Starfield, Starfield. I'm talking about. Um, that's the best part of Starfield. This ship builder, and even that could have been better. I think it's the idea of getting to the root of a problem. Maybe. 
in that case, literally the, the root. Okay, just move slowly until that door opens. Right. Yeah, I'm in turn-based mode. Shoot. If I, oh, I disabled their arms. Maybe they can't shoot back. So I want to disable his right arm. Hmm. Didn't fully work, but now if I step out the way, shouldn't be able to see me. Oh, never mind. Just gonna have all Gamorian fucking to betray us. Right, Didion is in a terrible position, but we're gonna have to just accept we're gonna be taking a ton of radiation off this guy. My right, mother, you re run up. Welcome, brothers. And there Welcome. you go. What a fine bunch of soldiers I see before me. If only the West Coast elders could see you, they would finally agree with us about sharing the Brotherhood's wealth of education and technology. But I digress. Do you believe you can stop the menace from the West? Your eyes give you away, brother. They tell me you don't even understand who or what the menace is. The elders have always been blind to what is not in front of them. But it ends here. The general is not here for you to save, I'm afraid, and you cannot save me or yourself. Now, show me what you've learned. Sure thing, bro. You're gonna get messed up. Hopefully. Saying that, safe. <laughs> Kill Gamoran. Damn traitor. Lost the music again. There you go. Probably should have had my squad in a better position before we started the fight, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, especially... Oh, God. Ah, yeah. I'm actually gonna have to load an earlier save. This one. Yeah, this was when you after the fight. So, Dylan, so what you're going to do, actually, is stay over here, and you're going to... Oh, he actually does glow. Oh. It's just that the lighting is not showing that he glows most of the time. But there you go, he does He does glow a little bit. Right. You're going to lie down here, and... Yeah, wait. I'm going to join you. But not right next to you, because you're... really deadly. Uh, let's save while we're doing all this. I'm going to wait over here. Play these boxes. I'm going to have Stitch. Wait in here. But luckily, they didn't see us. Stone was going to join him. We're going to have to line up, essentially, because we can't cross to the other side of the doorway without getting shot at. Mother and Krilldrav all in tow. All right. Foit. Didn't see anything. That's 14 perception. Oh, there you go. You can. Oh, well, they might have to see us as well. Okay, turn base mode. Ah, lost sight of the other guy. Okay, this guy is melee, but he might have grenades. Let's just see if we can... Ah, it's annoying that he hasn't got enough AP. Definitely need to get the action boy up on um, Dylan. Right, can I take a shot? Let's do an aim shot. To the head. Oh, I need to reload. Okay. Well, that wasted... That aim shot again. Nothing I can do there. Oh, okay. I want Stitch to run to the other side. Welcome, brothers. Welcome. Yeah, we've had that. Shit. <laughs> Still managed to get shot in that. Can he get a burst off from that angle? No. Stoma is now here. So he can get in. Mother. Uh, I don't know why you would have taken that route, but okay. Um. Kind of blocked Krill Draft, but you're both waiting in tow. 
Okay, I don't think you guys... <sighs> Not enough AP. I think he's going to be melee only, so... We're basically going to save scum our way through this. Fallout 1 better than 2, in my opinion. I prefer Fallout 1, mainly because it's... Uh, that was a bad example of a hand stream, because that was caused by a mod. But what we saw there, I was talking about where certain areas of Fallout 2 feel rushed, and they are, because the game was made uh, essentially like in just over a year, whereas Fallout 1 was made over like four to five years, which is a really long development cycle for the 90s. So Fallout 1 just felt better designed. It felt like it had more care pot into it. Now, it was a lot shorter game, much shorter game, much more con condensed, but because it was condensed, it was concise. Like It felt like everything was really well thought about, um, it really facilitates a lot of different play styles. Now, of course, those play styles do have to fit into the old school CRPG turn-based kind of thing, so they don't necessarily feel dramatically different. You know, it's not like playing a stealthy build is going to feel much different than playing a action-based build because you are still just like clicking around on the screen. But how you interact with the game is vastly different when you're playing those builds. Um, and now Fallout 2 can facilitate all of those builds as well. Um, but Fallout 2 is almost too big for its own good. Yeah, Fallout World has a more... Yeah, Fallout... I said Terranium saying there. Fallout 1 has a more solid world, writing and design, but Fallout 2 has uh, tons of gameplay improvements. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fallout 2 is where they, they listen to the fan feedback and use those to fix a lot of the gameplay problems. Like a big one, like companions are just generally annoying to have in Fallout 1 uh, because of their AI pathing and they get in the way and stuff like that. And they really built upon that in Fallout 2. They actually gave companions personality. Um, you can trade with them better. Like a whole assortment of things that they did better. But as you said there, like, yeah, the writing and the world and just all that kind of stuff, it, it felt, you could feel that they put a lot more time and care in to Fallout 1 because they had a lot more time and care to put into it. But it, it, it's still, it's a thing of like, if Fallout 1's a 9 out of 10, Fallout 2 is like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. You know, it's not a dramatic difference between the two. And that's obviously uh, subjective as well. I would say Fallout 2 is closer to New Vegas, just in um, the slightly more zany writing, as well as the amount of content. If you want kind of a, a if you want an older Fallout to be closer to New Vegas, it would be Fallout 2. But Fallout 1 is still pretty good in that regard as well. Um, Dylan, maybe you work on this guy at the back. Cool. I'll take out this guy. Nice. Don't shoot me. You idiot. I hate you. Um, I mean, I should have, should have seen that happening. It, it is a shotgun. It's my bad. This might be dumb, but um, we need five, so you can free to spend. You run here. And, uh... Fuck you, good morning. I did not sacrifice my very <laughs> to be beaten by those I strive to save. Ask yourself what you will gain by killing me. Judge me not by my actions, but by my goals. This undead enemy will not stop until all life has been extinguished. Why can't you see that? Why? Well, we survived. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Completed never the mind. For this mission. Proceed to the exit grid to leave this mission. He survived the explosion, but then had a tragic heart attack. So sad. <laughs> and that's why we bring Stoma. Because that rocket launcher solves all of our problems.
These death claws are super weak, you know. You would have thought they would do a ton of damage, but do they hack? There you go. Right, Dylan, stand up and get the hell away from us, man. You stand over that corner. All right, Krill Drive, you go uh, get the loot. He was so shocked that he survived. He had a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Power armor? Oh, no. Tommy gun, though. Not bad. A uh, ton of stim packs. I think that was meant to be a difficult fight. But uh, a <laughs> little rocket launcher to the face solves all of our problems. Thank you, Stoma. Proved your worth right there. Dylan, I'm on the fence about you, man. Amazing sniper, but good God. Why are you... Oh, you know what? I don't... Is the glowing one what causes... I don't think the glowing one is what gives him 14 perception. If we can get him a perk point, we can mutate him. And we can, t we can get rid of glowing one. That's the goal. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will let us mutate glowing one away. And then Dylan will be amazing. Just for his 14 perception alone. He's actually not too bad at first aid, but he can't apply it to anyone because he bloody contaminates them. Um, it's not worth putting any points in the sneak. It'll take forever to get rid of that. I don't even know what his um, tagged perks are. Okay, he's tagged in science and repair, I think, yeah. Um, we've got, yeah, we don't have a, we don't have a driver anymore. Oh man, I don't want to do any driving less, uh, any driving missions with Dylan. Oh God. Yeah, definitely not. He'd be useless. <laughs> okay. Well, I just small guns for now then, I guess. But I'll put some points in the repair on the off chance that we can mutate you. And then you will have a worth. But at the moment, I think I'm going to have to put him back into storage. Because it, it's just troublesome to have him around. Alright, I think we're done. Quill drive leveled. Cool. Yep, more unarmed. Anyone else? Oh, Stitch. First aid and doctor. Okay. Any other loot? Chest. Ever seen the video of what actually happens to a person, ballistic gel, when hit with an RPG in slow motion? I haven't, but I have seen what happens when you get hit with a 50 cal. And I can imagine it's going to be like that, but times 1 million. No description. Available. Is this a broken item? <laughs> Is this a bro like what? Um, is that a bug or I don't know. It's a bit weird. Mother, loot this guy. I think it's just a pipe, right? Oh, he has a gun as well. Okay. Well, I need to make a way out. So Dylan, you can scout for us. Your liability. Wasteland 2 is a good tactical RPG. Wasteland 3 is not so good. AC doesn't work in it. Wait, they actually have... Armor class just doesn't work in the game? That seems pretty busted. You would have thought they would patch that. Turn log on and read above. Right mouse button to transfer items. Is it? Right mouse button doesn't seem to do anything in the inventory. What's this? Bonaki's letter. Oh, I didn't even know we had that. Ever put a tomato in a bit of blender and hit pulse? Like that, damn. You change posture, uh, you gain a bonus in weapon skills and AC. Uh, yeah, no, for, um, that's why I put my snipers in prone. Uh, it's marked blue. Don't use any drugs. Stim packs don't have debuffs. Yeah, that's why I'm not using any super, super stim packs. Uh, st stim packs. Any stim packs, you have uh, doctor skills to heal limbs and statuses. Oh, I didn't know that about um, stim packs to heal limbs. That'll be good because we've had situations in the past where people have had broken limbs and it's been a bit of a pain. 
Uh, um, yeah, I use Stitch for all of our medical needs. He is fully kitted out, he uses the first aid kit a lot and doctor's bags and stuff. Um, I should play the newer Wasteland games since I do like the uh, the newer XCOM games and want an RPG of that. I've got um, Wasteland 2. I've, for whatever reason, I've always struggled to get into it. I've probably started three or four playthroughs on it, but I only have five hours of playtime. The game is just never... I don't know what it is, but I've, yeah, just struggled to get into the world, I think. Now, I've not done a serious playthrough of, like, Wasteland 1 before, so maybe that's why. Where's the extraction zone for this map? So maybe it's just that I don't know much about the world. Where's the extraction? Up here? But uh, I need to give it... Uh, the thing with Wasteland 2 as well is that I guess it's using... Or well, it's important to remember that Fallout is... Is inspired by Wasteland to some degree. And so there's story plots or plot points in Wasteland 2 that I've seen in Fallout first. And because of that, it feels like I'm playing a derivative, even though I know it's the original. So when I play in Wasteland 2 and you come across, a little bit spoilers here, but you come across a science facility where they went a bit crazy with bio uh like engineering on some plants and the plants became color plants i mean that's exactly that's just that fall from fall in new vegas you know it's like the, pretty much the same thing and i get that like one game like wasteland probably did that first but because of that it just feels like i am playing a knockoff and i know that i'm not but i, I couldn't get that out of my head now i think that's one of the reasons i struggle to get into it Wait, where's the extraction zone it's just back at the beginning I think it is. Cool. All right. Dylan, you can go first. Wasteland difficult will be uh, Wasteland One will be difficult for modern gamers. There's an update version, but it's still as an it still is intuitive arena. Yeah, if that's the version I played was the updated one, which is um, it's not AI up upscaled. I think it's been artist rendered. With ooh, what the hell? Is he not friendly with us anymore? Nope. Go away. Is it because because I must be because they're killed. Uh, I don't want to attack you. It certainly looks like you do. There you go. <laughs> but, um... Super Simpax don't have debuffs? Oh, is that... They didn't carry that over from Fallout 2? Ah, so all this time I've been avoiding them. I would have thought they... Because in Fallout 2 they have the Super Stimpak thing, don't they? was a small amount of damage after a period of time. Oh, that's what I, I, I guess that's what I meant, sorry. Was that they could, but I don't know how small that damage is. So, um, Stitch, actually, you, you can be a test subject. You have 90 health points. You stim, you super stim yourself. Gives you full. And then let's see what happens after a bunch of time. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, so if we fall if Wasteland 1, there's a version that has like upscaled art, but it's not AI upscale. I'm pretty sure it's done by like an actual artist. The style looks, um, you know, looks a bit weird because it is illustrated pixel art. So it's a bit off, but that's the version I played. And yeah, it's super unintuitive. I had to follow a YouTube like kind of guide to get me going. Which worked, but there there comes a point in the game where it just becomes a massive grind, and I, I wasn't really that dedicated to uh to going through the grind just to finish just to hit the ending when I you know when you could just watch like a a YouTube play for essentially and get the same experience. But it was an interesting time, you know. I like playing all the games like that, but I'm I'm not I don't usually for the those all the style titles I don't usually play them to the end if they require a huge grind. But if it's not too bad, like I would say like the early Ultima games, those aren't too bad of a grind to get through. The funnily enough, the old games that are still very playable are platformers. Um, they're just super simple games. Yeah, those are the ones that are just timeless. And you don't have to have a computer design license to play them like System Shock. Dude, System Shock 1, before the remake, was... 
yeah, it, it boggled the mind when I had to play that game. <laughs> I have played it, but oh, it's it's a nightmare. And then you come to like System Shock 2 and it's everything is so much more refined. <laughs> That's the, the great thing about sequels. But yeah, I totally agree. I think that's why, in terms of like the retro space, you always see a lot of admiration for Nintendo. And that's generally because... Oh, I was so lucky we didn't, hit, we didn't activate that mine. But like a lot of Nintendo games generally aimed, uh, aged pretty well because they were mostly simple titles for the time. Even something like... Um, I know this isn't first party, but like Final Fantasy sorrow. one through three, honestly the didn't age that badly at all. A murderer and a deceiver, yet he was a paladin. His brave deeds once brought much hope to the wasteland. Yet something happened to him when the great storm ripped his airship from the convoy and crashed it to the ground. From that moment, Gamoran was born, and the Brotherhood lost its favorite son. With their leader dead, the mutants have split into factions. Some have turned to internal fighting as they wrestle for control. Others have even offered to join the Brotherhood. Though the mutant menace is far from ended, they are severely weakened. It will be some time before they gather their strength. Dagger Squad is out on patrol now, hunting any mutant straggler. The briefcase you retrieved from Gamoran's quarters has turned out okay. to be an invaluable find. It is a portable nuclear arming station from the time before the Great War, and, according to our scribes, it can be retrofitted to our nuclear warhead. While some of General Barnaki's possessions have been recovered from the mutant base, his location continues to be a mystery. We can only pray for his well-being while we continue the search for answers. Rest assured that our interrogators are working round the clock with the mutant prisoners. Time will tell. We have a service for Paladin Latham tonight at the motor pool at 2200. Dismissed. All right. Just one mission done. How long we got left? Oh, 39 minutes. Okay. Start another one. Um, let's get back to the bunker. Gamma, I think, is going to have to be. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh, we're gonna have to get in the car with Dylan. Fuck off. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's so big now, are you? Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? What am I doing? Get him, boys. Bad day, huh? Bad day. <laughs> Why is Krill Trap driving? Oh my god, the last person I want driving my car is a bloody death claw. <laughs> the imagery, just the, imagine, <laughs> the imagination of him, like, hunched over the steering wheel. <laughs> How did these guys die? I didn't do that. Killed the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason people said it was more like driving an operating system rather than playing a video game. That's accurate. I downloaded Legacy of the Ancients, which is another older RPG, but ha you have to slow it down a lot in DOSBox. That's a problem with a lot of DOSBox games. Oh, God. Let's draft. A death claw would have to use its pointer finger and thumb to hold onto the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the amount of random encounters in this game. But you know what? I was saying like maybe I should grind these out a bit more. So let's let's go get involved. Where where's the enemy at? I can I can hear that I'm shooting them. I don't know where they're going. Oh, here they are. Let's just kill them for the experience. There you go. Might help us with being underleveled a bit. Saying that though, I, I don't feel too bad now. What levels are we at? 12? Yeah, 12, 13. Like, it's not too bad.
I really need to work my outdoorsman though. That's the thing. We got rid of our, our outdoorsman lead, didn't we? It was far sight, I think. Get them. Run them down, cool draft. Nice. We're probably just going on a tear in these zombies. <laughs> This is what Lions uh, Brotherhood needed. The super mutants of the Capital Wasteland would have been no problem if they had a couple Humvees equipped with um, some saw machine guns. No problem at all. Where they at? Oh, rad roaches. Oh, sorry, big cockroach. Turn log on, please. Left of the character project. Thank you so much. I didn't realize that's what you meant earlier. Yes, that's what I've been wanting. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's what I've been struggling with because I've not had that information. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. I didn't realize that's what the icons did. Super helpful. Well, now we finally know. Do you store items in the car? Um, generally not. I've not had a problem with um being over encumbered yet. Because I just use Mother and Krill Draft to kind of carry everything. Where are they? No, there they are. Nice. And we're only getting like 100 experience per mutant. Not a lot, really. But it's free experience at the end of the day because they're not doing anything to us. Citizens. No. I want to kill them. Where you at, buddies? Our car, our car is lit. It looks like it has like an LED under lighting because of Dylan. Nice. It's pointless to grind. Oh my god, it's been this long and you've never tried to push those buttons. Nope, I've never... I Honestly, I didn't even notice that they were buttons. <laughs> it's my bad because they look the same as these ones over here. Just never clocked it. Peace laws now. Yeah, I know it's pretty much pointless to grind. I'm not trying to. It's just that we have terrible outdoorsmanship. I'm gonna... I think it's pretty much Let's see what experience I get from these ones. Oh, 47. Yeah, it's definitely not worth grinding. Okay. Let's get out of here then. We need to uh I think I'm gonna replace Dylan with I guess maybe get Farsight back. Problem is, I really like the idea of trying to mutate Dylan so that he's not a glowing one anymore. We will need to level him a little bit for that. I think he needs to get to level 12, which is a bit of a grind, so we maybe have to keep him on the squad for a while. This causes so much problems for us. No. Maybe we don't need two, two super mutants. Oh, what's Mother addicted to? Mother, what have you been taking? Yeah, I don't know how she's addicted. Addicted to something. Interesting. Maybe. Oh, I think. No, I remember. I think she got addicted to right away. And I think I remember being so confused on how that was even possible. Yay. We made it. Get out the car. Dylan. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, it's that. Come back a little bit. And drop this stuff on the floor. And then go away. Thank you. Oh, I did level up though. Hmm... 
don't I might as well hit a hundred on it. So it might be a little bit more useful. Oh, at least we got some more levels. Oh no, it's just irradiated. Level stoma. Energy. Okay. I think everyone's a bit stuck. There you go. Black gloves. First aid kit. Okay. So I stand in front. Everyone stand near me. And we'll sort our inventories out. Sell all our stuff. Cool. Right. Let's see. Stitch. Anything to sell. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Stoma. Um. Honestly, bro, we could probably get rid of the healing powder. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. Um, Stitch, you can give him some stims. Mother can't use stims. I don't think they can use stims. I'll give him give her some. I can't remember if they can use stims or not. Thank you. Give me that. And all these machine guns and grenades. Oh, actually, no. You can throw grenades, can't you? So you keep those. It's a bit too much ammo, but do kind of need it. Mostly give it to Stoma because he's the one who uses the most. He has a can have a thousand rounds. Yeah, I certainly don't need a thousand rounds though. I'm gonna sell this off. You need um. IHE weapons around 150 plus to use them properly. Oh, heavy weapons. Um, at 150 plus to use. Um, to use them properly plus doctor skill, repair skill, and maybe barter for one guy who will trade. Okay, so I need to get Stomer up to 150. Which I think he's at. Yeah. Okay, so he's there. So we're getting the 150 on him. He probably doesn't need small guns anymore. Uh, we need a doctor skill, which we got stitched for. Repair skill, yeah. So we used to have a driver who had a repair skill. So we need to get her back, I think. Um, and maybe barter for one guy who will trade. Yeah, that's definitely... I don't have any of that. So that would probably be helpful. And that would, would that probably help with the fact why the Brotherhood keep killing us on trades. Horrendously. Oh, I want... They give me so little scrip. Actually, I want to see... How does this Tommy gun compare with our AK? Stitch has an AK, so... AK is 10 to 22 at a range of 28. This is 7 to 28 at a range of 25. So not too bad, but it does use 45, which we don't have a lot of. I've got 128, 189, sorry. Stoma has 77, so you give that to me, and that equals 266. I think we'll keep the Tommy gun for now, but we don't have a lot of ammo for it. Barter. Okay. Guess we don't need cams. Oh, 
We've got some environmental armor Mark II now available. That looks cool. What's this? Muty. Some kind of chem, I guess. Can't see what it says. Hmm. And what rad away? He doesn't seem to have, I don't think. No, doesn't look like it. That's annoying. Um, hopefully the doctor can fix this up then. Alright, but that's everything for now. Yeah, just give me the script, I guess. Just this metal armor mark two. I think that's what everyone's wearing already. Alright, Arthur. I'm still over encumbered because of the bullets, I guess. Yep. Right, where's the um oh, who... Cur the merchant? Oh, there's a merchant here. I didn't even notice. Well, yeah, I am just wasting all my money on bloody scrip. I'm wasting my time on scrip. Drugs are bad, kids. You need higher rank, better gear. Oh, is it? Oh, is uh, is it level locked? Like level scaled? The actual shops? Hello, my child. I am Kerr, a humble merchant who travels the wastelands in search of objects and oddities that the Brotherhood could use. Come and have a look at my wares. Who knows? Maybe I'll have something you might find useful. No, well, you have right away. Sure, I have enough. How much? 1486. But we take a few rounds. Let's give you 450 rounds. Yeah. And then I just need to give you 800 ring pulls, I think. 81 more. Cool. Thanks, sir. Why is there a gun on the floor? So drop that there before. Hey buddy. Um yeah, can you take this? And um Yeah, realistically we're just not gonna use these, are we? Cool. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Ring pulls on my crypto down with caps. Yeah. Put the rad away. Put the rad away into the glowing ghoul one's uh, backpack to send a message. <laughs> it's not a hate crime. All right. So we've got some super mutants here now. Just cool. So I think Dylan, I want your gun. I need you to give me your gun first, actually. But um, see what these super mutants are like. Big guns, energy weapons, yes. So, I've already got Stoma as the thing. And you're not stronger than him. You're a higher level, which is cool. Um, same. Yeah. Problem with guys, I've got a human that is just better than you. Bat skin, other people find you hideous to behold and vomitous to smell. Get a bonus to armor class, but any friend or foe nearby will suffer penalties to perception. Well, yeah, for that reason, bro. Um, well, this guy somehow doesn't have that skin. He only has a positive trait. Hmm. You're pretty good, but I've got Stoma. So, uh, far sight. Why are you so low? Low, low uh, recruit. So she was. Actually, 8 perception. That's not bad, but the outdoors one was really helpful. So I think we might bring Farsight back. It was our driver? Rebecca, right? The, the heavy girl. 
Yeah, Rebecca. Oh, no, you weren't a driver. What was Rebecca? Oh, Rebecca was a lockpick, and she still has a crippled left arm. God damn. You don't want to get that fixed or something? Yeah, so Rebecca, no, you are a liability. Who was a driver then? Beth? No. Um. Can't remember. Joe. Oh, it's Joe. Joe is our driver. Okay. Yeah, repair and pilot. So maybe I put Krill Draft back in. I kick Joe out. I take Farsight out. Dylan, you need to drop your gun on the floor, buddy. And yeah, your stim packs might as well. Thank you. Okay, let's have a better sniper than Farsight while we're here. One handed. Is there a way I could cycle through these? I don't think so. Big guns. Big guns. Maybe I just take on the mantle as a sniper. And we get more people on big guns, because it seems like the game is pushing us towards that. Oh, this guy has four tag skills. Oh, he has a ton of perks. Wow. Jinx, the good thing... Oh. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. Dylan. You. Russ. Oh, you're also a glowing one. Fear the Reaper. With cheat at death, you gain perks more quickly. Ah, that's why you were still alive. Unfortunately, you are now on death shortlist. Oh, wow, he's so old as well. Um. No, your perception is not good enough, bro. No, I think still Farsight might still be the best one. Twelve, but you're glowing one. It's a problem. No. I think it's that nah, she's strong. Super strong. Oh melee. Nah, okay. I'll say it is. Where you at, girl? There you go. Welcome back. Uh, in the end, all weapon types have a good uh, choice. Gorse guns for light. The M2 is the best heavy weapon. And plasma for energy. Melee sucks. Throwing two. Yeah. Um, I'm, sadly, I regret tagging throwing. Oh, and traps are very important. There are a lot of mines. Oh, yeah. I forgot that traps helps you with deactivating mines. Uh, honestly, I found that with a high enough perception, you can see them and then you can just shoot them. That's what I've been doing. That was what Dylan was really good in that mission for, actually. His um, his really high perception came in clutch. I think Joe's perception is the best. Yeah, so... Uh, not Joe, Farsight. So we'll send Farsight forward. Oh, Joe's leveled up. Now, you're a driver. So, anything to do with driving here. Stonewall. Mr. Fix-It. Perk will give you a one-time bonus of... 10% to repair with science skills. Oh, that's like a four or three perk. Where would you take that? Mutate. One of your traits has mutated. She hasn't even got a trait. She's that generic. Medic, light step. That's kind of helpful. Evo, gunner. Expert shot from a music view. No, he's the driver. Incredibly supple. Maybe this... I think that's... Oh, this is... Are we, no, we're leveling up Joe. That would be worth giving the far side because she's got amazing outdoorsmanship. Seeing as Joe is the driver, maybe we just give it to her. I'd be born to give her Action Boy, but it is such a good perk. Hmm. 
Speaking of 50 cal, Brandon Herrera recently finishes his AK-50 prototype that fires 0.50 BMG, the same round using the Barrett anti-material rifle. That's got to be semi-auto, right? I can't imagine that's going to be <laughs> full auto. I mean, if it is, you'd have to mount it on something. Honestly, mines aren't that hard to turn off IRL. Source, trust me, try it out. <laughs> yeah, bro, <laughs> it's, it's super easy. Just go up at them and like it's hit them a few times. It turns them off. Uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, releases within an hour on Steam. I'm fully, fairly excited. I've not ever seen much of the news for that. Is it just a port or is it a remake? If it's a port, I'm totally down. Hopefully it's ported pretty well. Yeah, the AK-50 semi-auto only. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think I'm just going to go action, boy. It's really boring, but... No, it's like a all reliable, isn't it? Let's get that up to 150. And this up to 150. I'll probably get the repair first. All right, so Joe still has her weapons, actually, and her repair kits. Nice. Scorpion's probably not doing you any favors anymore. I don't think that does good damage whatsoever. 8 to 16, yeah, it's been a bit outclassed by this point. Uh, I did, I think I just sold a Mac 11. That might have been better for her. And Farsight, you need to come down here and um, pick up all your stuff from Dylan. I think he was around here. He would have dropped it. Oh, armor. Bugger. Okay, we need to get Dylan back out so we can get his armor and put him back in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, let me just lose his stuff into the oblivion that is this wall. Oh, it's here. Thank God. We'll be careful handling that stuff because there's a bunch of radiation all over it. She's need some. Oh, it's the same ammo, is it? Seven six two. Oh, cool. All right. Um, I need to go get the armor off of Dylan. up all right path far side back in take dylan back out dylan sup bro drop your armor oh, i forgot how much of a meme it was that we gave you environmental armor given that you're literally the the biggest environmental hazard here uh far side And I'm still in leather armor. Why aren't I wearing metal armor mark two? Why aren't I wearing metal armor mark two? <laughs> I should take priority. Alright, Stitch, you get out of the way. Where do you just drop it there? Oh, that's because it's worse armor class for me than leather armor. Okay, never mind. Is it because of a stealth penalty? Why Why is that, actually? The perk I've got? No. It's interesting. I'm not entirely sure. It's maybe because of my agility. I'm not entirely sure why leather armor is better than metal armor exclusively on me. But so be it. Has better resistances. Ah, oh, right. Oh, yeah, I see. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Might be nice. Than just pure AC. It's not big enough for me to be that concerned about it, actually. I need to buy... I think everyone's got armor. Obviously, Mother can't wear any. I think we're all, we're all good on the armor front. 
Oh, maybe I'll give Joe... Yeah, what I'll do is I'll give Joe the Tommy gun and I'll get rid of her scorpion. Yeah. So, you give me that. And... Most of the 9 mil. And I'll give you this. Cool. And actually, I think I'm going to keep that scorpion just in case. That's a lot of 9 mil that I don't want to lose. Cool. Right, Stitch. You come down here. I'll give you some meds. Right away. And first aid kits. Right. And now we've all got to go see the doctor. Which I hope this bunker has. Maybe it doesn't. Do we have to go to another bunker? Medical officer. Yeah. Heal me up, Doc. Greetings, warrior. Greetings. I am Celsius, healer and scribe. You may return to the bunker for healing any time you wish. I will heal you as long as I have the resources to do so. Okay. Do I just need to talk to you to heal my companions? Well met, brother. Good to see you again. Uh, let me reintroduce myself. I am... Oh, no. Can he not fix radiation? Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Oh, bugger. How much for all your ads? Ah. Well, we've got enough. Got enough. We've got enough. Could be worse. Could be worse. Well, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. Are we back? There we go. There we go. Um... Power medic bag. How much is that? A lot. How much are you taking for ammo these days? Say 400 rounds? Hmm. And you don't care for drink pills, huh? Yeah. Didn't think so. Well, I need the 303 for my foul, don't I? Do I? No, I don't. Okay, how much are you taking for some 303? Hmm. Let's just take a field kit instead, maybe. And maybe a doctor's bag. Nope. Hmm. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Ah, we can make the difference on that. Five rounds. There you go. Wait, why can't I make the offer? Is it because he doesn't take ammo? Enough, right? 702? 7,000? Yeah, why won't it let me take press offer? Yeah, I don't think he takes med he doesn't take um ammunition, I guess. Because yeah, if I pot this here, does he just stop wanting it? No. Just take ammunition. That's um first aid sucks because of the bandages status. No cell, it's junk. Uh check Farsight's armor has a debuff perception. Oh, does it? I need to check that. Oh, is Doctor's bag that much better than first aid? I go for the first aid kits just a cheaper. I mean, I guess I can try and make the difference. Let's see if he will accept. Okay, he will accept some offers. Oh, I think it was 7,800. I, I was reading it wrong. It was probably the diff difference there. Okay. Cool. Offer. All right. Stitch. 
Um, you come here. Now, I doubt it, but can radiation just kind of run out over time? I would prefer that than using uh, right away on everyone. Check Far Sight's armor, yeah, he said. Um... Oh, is this a perception on this, is it? Hmm. Seems fine. It's not a high armor class. Against harmful import agents and radiation. Maybe it's on the Mark II there's a perception thing? No, it seems... It is affecting some... What's it affecting? No, it's not affecting her special. My stitch is encumbered now. Oh. It's got too many meds. Well, use this with yourself. Nice. And uh, go help out all the boys. Everyone. Oh, not you, mother. Oh, it's a stoma left. Stitch, go fix him up. Um, I don't know how we fix the mother's addiction. I think that's just a time thing. Actually, let me just check. Is there a fixer in this game? I don't think there is. No. At least he's not selling any. Alright, let's get our next mission. Imp sorting. Took a while, but it always does in this game. How long have we got left? Five minutes. We have won the day in this region. We shall move our operations to the new outpost to the west. Take your squad and report there ASAP. Okay. Simple enough. Well, if she's addicted to people. <laughs> That's the last thing you want a, mo a, uh, a death call to be addicted to. Everyone reconvene. Um, I want to take both, actually, things. So, you free in there, and, nope. And you free in the APC. Let's go. All the bots, roll out. Uh, you might want to drive the right way. The super mutants were a powerful oh. adversary with great strength and courage. Without the leadership of Gamoran, though, they will never pose the same threat to the Brotherhood. It was the corruption of Gamoran that provided the most sobering lesson. Even the purest of hearts can falter. The elders and generals must push their sorrow aside, however, for they have more pressing matters to attend to. The data recovered from Gamoran's base indicates that the mutant force's route intersected with the calculated location of Vault Zero. It is possible that the mutant horde discovered the location of Vault Zero during their exodus from the west. Is there a connection between the mutants discovering Vault Zero and the emergence of the mechanical menace? Only time will tell. The future holds one thing for certain. More encounters with the robots are inevitable, and the Brotherhood as a new and deadly enemy. All up four spoilers. They hate robots. Yeah. Far sights. Outdoorsmanship coming in clutch. Did you get to the last bunker? Is this the last bunker? I don't even know. Bunker Delta. I hope it's the last one. I have no idea. Then she's for the streets. <laughs> I didn't think she'd be addicted in that way. Oh my god, come on. 
Yay. Nice. Oh, mechanic, huh? Hello? What can you do for me? Some wheels? Do you sell cars? No. Why do you say you're looking for some wheels then? You're lying. Um, yeah. Don't appreciate liars. Oh, we've got an outdoor set. Ooh, nice. Look at this. Not just a bunker anymore. Um, let's actually check out all the outdoor set things before we move on. Oh, oh no. Is this not the last base? Oh dear. Bunker Delta is the second last bunker. Well, we're kind of nearly there. I'm busy. I have to check a new batch of mines. No one Smith. It's a very sus name. Come in, brother. Come in. I'm his son. Why is he a hippie? This fine brotherhood bunker. Yeah, if you need some great gear, you come to me. We got a motto in this bunker. Inventory is not boring. Inventory is life. Sounds like he's a new Vegas you. voice actor. What we got here? Flamer. Oh, we're starting to get some energy weapons as well. A plasma rifle. That's what I'm most interested in. No, nah, but that's why I want to get Stoma on. Get him on a plasma rifle. That's where he'll be pretty well used. Uh, also, do you have any rockets actually Stoma can use for his rocket launcher? Doesn't look like it. No. Oh, that's time up. That's a shame. Let's just get into it. I'm excited for the, the next couple of missions on um in this game. I think we're doing pretty well, actually. This new... Oh, new... <laughs> new bunker. Nice. All right. Well, let's update the time before I forget. We're down to 62 hours. So, we will finish Fallout 2 next stream, or if we're next, whenever next comes up. Fallout 4, we're close. I think we're probably about two streams away. And then we're on tactics for, I guess, the next 55 hours after that. Which it should hopefully be enough to finish the game. Um, if we're on the second to last bunker, and it's taken us 25 hours, according to Steam, to get to this point. So, it's, if, if we say 25 hours is the halfway point... I think we're doing pretty good progress. It should take us another 25 to finish, hopefully. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're getting there. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Sorry I can't, um, I don't read chat fast enough. It's just, it's hard when I'm playing the games, but I try to keep up. 55 hours should be at least three missions. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I won't, I, I hope it's not the case, but I wouldn't be surprised if we end up pushing it up to like the last couple hours before we finish it. But I, I'm pretty confident we can do it. The last two bunkers just have more missions than the others, and they're longer too. Oh, no. 62 should be doable. Yeah, I think it's doable, but... Oof. We're going to struggle, but we'll get, we'll get there. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thanks so much. I had a fun time. I'll see you all, uh, hopefully, next week. Bye-bye. Oh, thanks for the stream. No worries. Half of what I say in chat is just nonsense and jokes. The other half is offensive. <laughs> it's totally fine. Thank you, everyone. See ya.